recording. Alright, so after the past couple of days, this is usually the point where it starts dropping hundreds of thousands of frames. Hasn't happened yet. I'm gonna wait for about 15 seconds. There's Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Alright. This will just take a moment. And hit the kill buttons. Lots and lots of kill buttons. More kill buttons. Uh, that, that took longer than I thought it was going to. But, we got a home point. Might as well home point. No, I'm not gonna let myself be revived. I mean, I guess I won't. Uh, hello everyone, it is Friday, December 22nd, 2017. I'm Dent. That was OU and Sunny Quill and Kitty. We're still playing Final Fantasy XI Online. That was... That was not on the agenda for this evening. It was one of those, hey, let's go get some spark stuff done. And someone's all like, come to whatever that place was. Oh, man. I'm like, all right, cool. Want to tank RP Mathia. Only if I get to wear my RP Mathia gear. Actually, I don't know if I have RP Mathia gear. I think I only have the sword. Um, Pro Mathia. I may even have a key item for that. Party disband. That's why we always put the word and stuffs after everything. Speaking of which, I haven't updated this yet. This is still last night's title. I gotta fix that. I'll just take a moment. M C O A L Cold Titians. Second, scroll down. Apologize. We uh, updated the title on the late side. All right. Totally ill prepared. I don't even have. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even have a decent alcoholic beverage next to me yet. Yes. There we go. And Moogle time. Let's go and click this guy. We're gonna change jobs. We'll do main jobs. We'll do. I guess Pally? Pally would be good. Paladin, support job, warrior. Slash drawing. Nobody laugh at my gear. We gotta get my other gear. Macros, edit equipment. I'm trying to remember what worked best on a. Promathia. Uh, probably accuracy would be my guess. Guessing. And let's see. I really don't have a good. From Mathia armor set, or even anything from that expansion. <laughs> uh, I'll just go and do relic. Style luck. And then switch to macro edit. Totally. Go we'll prepared here. And. Ding, 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 ding. There, accuracy. That'll work. I don't have food, don't have buff. Echo drops? Probably need echo drops. Traveling to another home point, we're gonna do. Not the original release. Actually, it is. That's right. I'm thinking survival guides. Lemoria. Grand Palace of something. Garden of Wu. Emmet. I don't know if that's how you say it. Oh, okay, so last night, we totally were going to stream. I think we're gonna do high tier. Yeah, that's what the title said earlier. High tier. BC and M's. And for some reason, my internet provider decided to cap my uh, uplink bandwidth to like five kilobytes a second. Maybe it was megabytes. Probably megabytes. It's okay. I've got a shield for that. And um, it just didn't work out the way we wanted it to. So we got like 4,500 points of uh, ambuscade stuff. Hallmarks. Well, watching a lot of Deep Space Nine. That was my night last night. So tonight we're gonna go help uh, somebody, Minnie, out here with uh, Promathia. Shame he can't log in with his GM Dave account and, uh, you know, one shot it for us. That'd be cheating. Probably be cheating. 
Hitting the equipment button. Equipment button. Equipment button. Where'd you go, buttons? Looking for shields. I got too many shields now. Actually, I don't know if you can ever have too many. Probably. And let's go ahead and flash that. And flash onto that. But I'd lose my job. Only, only if you streamed it. And only if somebody would tell. I wouldn't tell. Why am I streaming though? Mm -hmm. well, where's the fun in that? I need to. Act. I need to change something here. Macros. Edit macro. Mm. Okay. Equipment sets. Looking for my accuracy set. TP max accuracy, or was it just simply called accuracy? I think it's TP max accuracy. That looks about right. Alright, so. Put that one there. And. Kitty's getting ready to jump up on top of the keyboard. I can feel it, I can sense it. She's totally gonna do it. Don't you do it, Miss Kitty. And one more spot here. Let me put the defending ring there. Probably don't need that much accuracy. We'll put the volcano in there. Damage taken. Stops. Alright. It says I don't have the key item. Joking. <laughs> I usually have the key item. There, there are times that I don't. I always thought that Square Enix kind of dropped the ball with their uh, lobby zones, no music. You think they could put some uh, upbeat tempo stuff in there? That would seem a bit on the cool side. Sylvie's gonna be healing it. It's gonna be one of those nights. But they're going too well for an MDT set. Did I learn blanks? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah, crusade. Right. Try to remember the last time I used that jump ability where I convert my TP back into MP. It's been a while. Surprising. I'm probably using it tonight. Let's get the flash. Seriously? Try that again. There we go! <laughs> Revoke on there, and maybe eat some food. Food's always good. Should have food on me. Yes, I saw. I see tacos. Tacos on a Friday night. They know sacrilege, right? Yeah, I got the hate back. Okay, I lost the hate. Yeah, this is a lot easier with people. Let's get this event. Sure. <laughs> So glad I skipped this event. Sentinel, flash. And charge. I'll just go and do this. See, I was hoping that dropping Sentinel would, you know, let me get the hate back, but... Ah! So that's the problem with doing this on 119 difficulty. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. 
Oh, Reckless Act might do some damage. Remember, we can get the hate back with Banish. Pure Force Bams. There we go. Oh, never mind. I got silenced. I have Echo Drops. Echo Drops for fun and profit. All heals into the Blue Mage. Not necessarily a Mia. <laughs> yeah, he stops. Ooh, a Pluton case. And they say, let no good deed go unpunished. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, is that it? I didn't think she'll chat, so I'm not swiping anybody else. Sure. Have fun storming the castle. Alright, so next button's gonna go right about there. With the party button. Then we can actually get back to the uh, what we had planned for tonight. Coalitions, which... Probably going to be a lot more dull than I wanted it to be. It was either this or it was going to be campaign battles. And campaign battles can be fun. If you're at level 75. With a hundred other players. No one needs a coalition. Hmm. 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 Happy Friday, Lanos. Alright, let's go switch the thief for the movement speed gear. There we go. So it's not all a bad night. I mean, we did a couple Omen runs. I got to see somebody die. It wasn't the uh, dude that needs the stuff for the uh, Paladin gear, the uh, plus three, but we'll work up to that. I did get a new shield. And one that I can actually probably use on Beast. Um, a Dapa shield dropped off of a Thinker. I think his name was. I was so proud of myself. He used paint sink and I was like, kitty get out of there. <laughs> it still didn't work the way I wanted it to. Damage taken minus 5%, physical damage taken equals reprisal. Unfortunately, every time that I've used this so far tonight, I got one shot. Even when I had all the other tank stuff on, like a uh, defending ring and minus PDT stuff. So yeah, changing jobs. We're gonna do main job. We're gonna do thief, maybe. Yeah, thief and a support job of. Yeah, dancer's fine. Over here, find our macro. Let's config macro. Yep. We can say in that side. I don't mind. We'll just go with the thief, thievery, thievery. This will work. All right. So it's been a while since I've done this. It's true, it has been a while since I've done any coalitions. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. Some people say focus on one school, get it up to max, and you'll be done. Other people say just knock them all out one at a time. I don't know. I don't know anybody that says that, actually. Let's see. Secrets of Battle. I'm on a BG Wiki right now, by the way. Go into the coalitions link. It's loading ever so slowly. The Outerland Coalitions are the six guilds responsible for assisting with the effort to colonize the Ubulkan Wilderness. Each of the six coalitions has a specific role in the colonization effort and is led by an elected coalition Meister. It's either a misspelling or that's what they're called. Each Meister also serves as leader of one of the twelve orders of Outerland. Alright, so you got your Pioneers Coalition, your Peacekeepers, your Couriers, your Scouts, your Murmurs. And your Inventors Coalition. Honestly, Inventors Coalition is really the only one that I've focused on of any extended length with a little bit of Pioneers. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of Pioneers. Not too much. Um, personal Standing Coalition Assignments is what we're looking for. There we go. In order to facilitate the taming of the wilderness of Eastern Uluka, the six coalitions of Adelin are allowing pioneers to participate by issuing tasks that can be completed. 
The successful completion of these tasks will unpick a coalition standing as well as grant rewards of experience points, bailed, and occasionally even a rare sumaculum segment. Completion of all coalition assignments are a prerequisite for unlocking access to the Geomancer and Rune Fencer Ergon weapons as well as Adolin Rings plus one, and access to unlock the Eagness Trust. So the Rings plus one is reason enough to take them all to max. Um, if you ever want to do anything, I would imagine serious about Geomancer or Rune Fencer, then that'd be another reason. And if you have to have all the trust in PCs, that too. Mr. Sam. Alright, so getting started in Primaturs. I always thought it said Imprintars, but no. The only prerequisite to participate in coalition assignments is obtaining the Pioneer's Badge from the Pioneer Registration Mission. That's like the first or second mission in Adeline. Really easy to get. Upon obtaining the badge, Pioneers will be granted three. We're going to call them Imprintars. Imprintars are items distributed by the government of Adeline, which allow adventurers to show their support for individual coalitions. The frequency at which a Pioneer can take part in a coalition assignment is limited by the rate at which Imprimtars are distributed. Imprimtars are granted to all pioneers four times a day, every six hours, and can accumulate up to a maximum of 15, at which point any additional will be lost. Note that the Imprimtars are expended upon signing up for assignment, so it is possible to have all 15 Imprimtars stored, plus multiple assignments in progress. However, if an assignment is cancelled, Imprimtars return will be lost if they would take the storage in total over 15. So if I had done this correctly, I would have actually picked up all the other uh, Imprimtars earlier this week. Or the, uh, what you call it, assignments that I wanted to do. And then we would have been like, yeah, let's get 30 of them done tonight. The task delegator within each coalition is responsible for assigning pioneers with the various assignments while the civil registrar explains various activities. Get bonus key items, rewards, referendums of poor, personal standing, and then the courier's coalition. So, I forget. To get the plus one, do you just need to have a What's the word I'm looking for? Legendary status and all the coalitions? Or do you have actually needed to have completed everything? Like, done each one at least once? I like doing everything at least once. And there's probably some other... Probably something to do with, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Rising Gina? Those buffs? I forget what they're called. They'll remember it. Anyway. I believe you have to complete them all. Well... It's a good thing we're playing an MMO then. Thank you, Lanos. We're going to go to Bastok real quick. I want to spend whatever merit points I have, and because we're going to be getting XP, so that's my boarding. And any reason to go to Port Bastok on a Friday night? Wow. Don't go to Port Bastok on a Friday night. There's probably better places you could go. Mm -hmm. Wanted to get the one with steel on it. Steel, name Prim Tar. I feel like I, I feel like I'm missing something, or maybe I'm just not drunk enough. It's probably I'm just not drunk enough. Yeah, it's definitely it. So I did check my uh, bandwidth this evening before I started the stream. Instead of the uh, four to five megabytes per second upload, it was like two hundred and fifty. Which felt a lot higher than what it normally is, so maybe I could crank it. No, I'm not going to crank it up. <laughs> it's just exchange merit points. Nothing. Exchange. Dang it. Gorny Ring. Plus one. The Outer Ring Ring. That makes more sense. Alright, I'm going to get Feared One Phantom Gem. It's only 10k. And I wish it would let us stay in the same menu like it does with the Sparks weapons. Gear. Yep. Because you can never have enough steel. Except when you have too much steel. Oh. That's it. Alright, so only spent 20 merits. It's not so bad. Alright, so. 
Let's put this over here, crank that right over there, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. So I'm trying to keep a window on top of a window so I can see all the uh, chatting that goes along or addition having a cheat sheet up. Because cheat sheets are awesome. Sorry. Can steal currencies from mobs in Dynamus 3.0. Like every five minutes. Shoot. I'm gonna bring Song of Death back. We'll all go in there on Thief. Actually, two of us will go there on Thief, and uh, one will go up with the uh, Res. Yeah. <laughs> Run up to a mob, try to steal, die. <laughs> That'd probably be the only way we could do it. Traveling to another home point, let's go to Outerlin. Outerlin Isles, Western Outerlin. Let's do the auction house for the yes, please. I like still. You can still currency. Was it ever determined if you could steal ancient currency off the mobs in regular Dynamis? The 2.0? I always thought yes. Well, at the same time, I don't think I ever did it. And then I want to say that if there was that possibility, I would have, like, have steel macroed into my uh, job ability spam macros. Casting Ionis for fun and profit. Actually, just for just fun. So, let's just start with the very first one. Couriers Coalition. We're going to provide Fort Day Henetil provisions, I think. Transport provisions to the site in Fort Day Henetil when the Frontier Station is to be constructed. Or maybe not. Because that one's probably already done. Where is the Pioneer's Club? Is this it? This is probably it, isn't it? Yep. That's it right here. And then this way... I still have pet food. Oh, no, I still have tank food on me. That's not bad. Alright, so we're gonna talk to... I guess the Task Delinator? Deleg... Delegator. I got the exact same hairstyle. She wearing sunglasses? It kind of looks like she is. I can't go back there. Dang it. All right, there's other ways to do this. Just zoom in. Okay, I thought there was a way to do it. Maybe you can't zoom in in first person mode. Or maybe I just forgot how to work the first person mode. There we go. But it has no effect in first person. Dang it. All right, let's just talk to her, see what she says. Welcome back. It is my understanding that you have completed one of our tasks. Do you have anything to report? I don't remember completing anything, but report on a completed assignment. I guess that's going to be clear the way. That place. I <laughs> can congratulate you on your success, and I'm pleased to hear your report. Well, that worked out well. All right, so base provisions... Transport provisions of the site in Fort Dehenetil, where the Frontier Station is to be constructed. Chances are, I'm going to guess that the base provisions stuff disappears once the base camp is constructed. Probably. That's just a guess. I really don't know. I guess we'll just start at the bottom of the list. Alright, Task Delegator. Uh, undertake a coalition assignment. Procure materials, clear the way. This is... This can't be what I'm thinking of. It's probably not. Let's go back. Let's go up. Couriers Coalition. That's what I'm supposed to be thinking of. That was the Pioneers. That makes more sense. Couriers Coalition is up here around the corner. Real close to that one thingy. You know, by the one thingy. We're going to see if they got base provisions, and then we're going to check to see if they got supply delivery I wonder can the home the main base that they build I know you can lose the auxiliary camps or I've been told that you can lose the uh, auxiliary camps but can you lose your main base one thing so now time to guide you pioneer I am here to provide intrepid pioneers with assignments from the couriers coalition 
he got started all of a sudden. Here at the Courage Coalition, we entrust various tasks related to the transport of goods through Adeline and Ubuka to those willing to aid our cause. All right, we're gonna undertake. We're gonna undertake one. Base provisions. This is this is one of the ones. All right. So, unfortunately, we do not currently have any assignments for you to undertake. All right. Supply delivery. And we still do not currently have any assignments for you to undertake. How about frontline support? We are currently able to offer you the following coalition assignments. All right. So let's go and do all three. All right. Support Kizik battlegrounds. So we can take all three. We're just gonna do one course. We'll talk to the test eliminator again. Anybody remember what that first one was? I already forgot. Undertake coalition assignment. Frontline support. Port de Hennetil. One course. Last time. Those of you with small children, just put a post-it on top of the naked Golka. Got your mitts for a bat, right? That is not Cyndaquil. That is Red Ocean. Well, one almost wants to ask why is the ocean red? I would not ask that actually, now that I think about it. Lothyrix, happy Friday. Undertaking a coalition assignment. Frontline support. More Marv Assault Fields. And we'll just do one, of course. Alright, so. This will be the easy way to do it. Um, <laughs> check it out again. All right, so I know Fort Diana Teal. I know more more basalt fields. Kizik Battlegrounds, I guess, it would be the uh, first one that we clicked on. It didn't read very well. Now, you could probably cheat and use this thing. That really messed with my head. As I entered the stream, I thought you were leveling. Not just a Golka. A giant naked Golka. <laughs> I guess he wasn't that big. I've seen bigger, I think. Or, I don't know. Maybe it was just the wrong angle. Let's go to Western Outer Lynn. I do have a couple Golkas. I actually enjoy my Golkas. Dun da da. Uh oh. My name is Egret. There's Gresh. <laughs> the people that you run into in Alruvin. All right, click in this. We're gonna do Kizik Battlegrounds. Let's pick the very last one because I think maybe you get more points that way. But maybe. Every time we teleport, we always try to take a swig of something. This needs more. Wrong. Mm. Maybe well it doesn't come off? No, well it comes off just fine. Argo! Happy Friday. Happy Friday everybody else that might have said something when I had my uh, neck turned to the side. I do that sometimes. What's up, kitty? You shouldn't jump off that way, it'll hit your head. Let's go this way. It got cold today! I mean, I'm not even joking. Yesterday was like in the 80s, and it was nice. And this morning when I got up, it was still quite warm. I remember stepping outside thinking, you don't need a coat. And it was supposed to get cold. But I even turned the air conditioner on on the drive to work this morning. And it said temperature dropping as I was driving. It's not that far of a drive. It was like 46 when I got to work. And when I left, it was like 36. So, you know. When it gets into the 30s, that's when you start to need a coat, I think. Unless, you know, you don't have like 100 extra pounds of weight on you like I do. In which case, you might need a coat earlier. Sammy! Happy Friday. Thank you for the shield. I'll add it to my collection. <laughs> All right, Bivouac Administrator number three. Thank you for those. Give me the stuffs. All right. You have completed a coalition assignment. That was easy. Let's go on to... It's a shame you can't use these things to teleport to the other zones. But, oh well. We'll go to the Statue of the Goddess. Yay. It's like 15 degrees Fahrenheit where I am right now. That's like half the temperature where it is over here. 
people were saying, OMG, it's going to sleet. Ice is going to erode. They're going to freeze over. It's going to be terrible. Mass hysteria. Like, it's like that on regular days. People just like to panic. Shouldn't say that. There was a pretty ugly accident on uh, 635 last night. We call it LBJ. It's kind of a, a loop around Dallas. It's one of those things that, um, yeah, North Texas. It's, uh, where all the guys with the Mustangs and Camaros drive around in circles trying to, uh, outdo one another. I guess they usually do on Friday nights and Saturday nights. Um, I mean, it can be considered fun, I suppose, if very illegal. Unfortunately, there was a car that broke down on the side of the road and they made the mistake of instead of trying to get the car off LBJ they just decided to pull off into the uh, disabled lane thinking we'll be safe here no and all I can say is I hope they went quickly it was uh they were just showing the pictures of it this morning on the news and I was like oh god the car looked about as large as my neon was it Alexis? Merry Christmas, by the way. Let's go back to Fort de Henetil. I think that was the next one. We'll do Frontier Bivouac number four. I don't remember which one that one is. Maybe the one close to that one cave that we go to fight those Apex mobs, the bats. Maybe. Maybe not. Map. There is no map. Let's try that again. Map. That's better. All right, so this was the, I guess it's a peninsula, it's not an island. This is the peninsula I was thinking of. A little bit to the southwest will be that cave I was thinking of, I think. Yeah, ish. It's probably off the map. I'm going to click this thing. My dad was a cop up here in Canada, and when he started back in the 70s, his first call was to a guy who was getting something out of his truck on the freeway. It was the 70s. And a truck had crashed into the back and pinned him. Very memorable first call. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I think there was a episode of ER that did that once, where uh, it was basically they had. This is getting graphic. Um. The woman's legs had been uh, severed from the knees down because of that exact incident. I think she was trying to uh, change a tire or something. And it was one of those, they were worried that if they separated the two vehicles that, you know, she would bleed out because this was one of those days. Uh, be careful, people. Even if you're traveling on the highway and even if you have car trouble and you have to get off the highway don't think that you're safe on the uh i call it the feeder road it's basically the road that goes along the highways it's uh it's not safe like pull into a parking lot if at all possible and if you oh shoot sometimes we just don't know our car's gonna break down until it's gonna break down but maintenance is important Jessos just saved the day. Had he not been able to tank a hit from Promethea, I would not have Fettering Blade right now. Congrats. Blue Mages can do anything. All right, good day to you. This is Frontier Bivouac number four. Frontier Bivouac four is currently at 97% durability. Did I already talk to him? I must have already talked to him. Wasn't even paying attention. Congrats on the Fettering Blade. What difficulty did you do it on, Mini? I'm gonna do. I guess we'll go back to Eastern Edelin. Let's pick the Castle Edelin Gates this time. Logan J. Happy Friday. I wish you could see my kitty right now. She's she doesn't like the cold because she's old and arthritis. But <clears throat> she likes when she's sitting in the lap. Very warm place, I must say. Did it on difficult. I'm trying to remember what level I was doing it on. It had to have been normal. The thieves spent the entire fight on the floor. Just like a Lanos would. Well, not the entire fight. Wait, you didn't go on Thief, did you? Probably didn't go Thief. More Marb Assault Field Frontier Bivouac number five. 
No, most people can get these Imprim Tars cashed in in like under five minutes. I'm not most people. I'm gonna try and drag this out as long as possible. Well, that's not true. We're gonna drag it out longer. Let's see. Bivouac. Oh, it's a Mithra. I'm gonna be my favorite Frontier Station from here on out. Thank you for the more food up materials container. We greatly appreciate your efforts to provision Frontier Bivouac number five. Please speak with the manager in charge of this assignment to collect your reward. All right, so we're going to go back to Western Adelin. Platia Triumphus. I don't think I've ever even read it before, much less read it out loud. My life is more gimp than dense. Monk. Anybody remember where that temp fan button is? Let's see. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Click. And we're gonna run over this way. And then we're gonna run back that way. How do you untime out? But you can't, can you? Well, we learn something new every day. Sorry, Minnie, that was just supposed to be like a little five second thing. 600 seconds, that's like what, 10 minutes? <laughs> uh, nobody calls Dense Monk Gimp except me. <laughs> We're going to uh, report on a completed assignment. It's unbanned username here. That's not your name. <laughs> We're going to do uh, Frontier Support with the star. And we're going to do Kizik Battlegrounds. 1,500 limit points. 1,500 bailed. Or is it bold? Let's call it bold. That seems more fitting, doesn't it? We did another Frontier Support. We're going to do Fort Day Hanateel. 2,000 bailed. It's getting better. Next one's going to be over 9k. Be over 9k. Do it. Support. 25. What kind of ratchet up is that? All right, so I guess that's all we can do with this one. He didn't have anything else for us, right? Um, undertake. Yeah, that was like the last one. So now, let's go on to, oh, back to the Pioneers Coalition, which is going to be procuring re Really? Oh, gosh. Still having shell chat. <laughs> and... It's an orange coat monk. I'm joking about that. I was gonna say, I mean, if your dancer was more gimp than dense monk, chances are you would have like maybe 400 accuracy. Nah, it's better than that. Should we walk? No, let's let's use the teleporter to go to Western Outland Pioneers Coalition. Did you end up getting your holiday gear the other night? Yeah, I was just missing the shoes. The plus one shoes. And because of Mini, he was able to show up and... What? Oh, Lanos can do it too, that's right. Um, Yeah, and we got all the gears. And then we promptly put it all onto a storage slip. And it was like, yay! All that free space was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna run this way now. This is that lady we were talking to earlier with the hair. We're gonna do. Your link pearl has been shattered. That requires too much work. I mean, the band button. Just a little mouse click. Have I ever broken anybody's pearl before? No. I've kicked people out of the uh, guild in uh, World of Warcraft, but that was more of a, uh, you know, you're causing problems. We're going to give you a timeout. And then when the boss gets on, we'll discuss it with him, and if he wants to let you back in, we will. But in the meantime, don't be an asshat. Like, now if I can just get that Sans earring. Of course you can. Cynical can get it. Anyone can. Let's undertake a coalition assignment. It's a 
Santaru. No, it's Jigoro. I might have said that right. Probably didn't. We're going to procure materials. Uh, unfortunately, we do not currently have any assignments for you to undertake. Okay, we'll clear the way. We are currently able to offer you the following. Just the one. Kizik Battlegrounds. Alright, that's fine. I'll just spend the one, of course. Alright, that knocks us down to 11. 11's a good number. That's like the number, uh... I forget. <laughs> number after 10. It comes before 12. Both 10 and 12 start with the letter T. I have no idea what that symbolizes. Probably nothing. But then again, 13 starts with the letter T. What is it with numbers and T? Actually, it's just those. Well, 10 and 2 and 3. Bum, bum. Let's see. I think we'll just need a healer. Actually, when I say just a healer, I also mean somebody with lots of uh, haste. So we'll get that one. First, in hindsight, you don't want to do Apuru first and then Cornelia because wherever Apuru runs, Cornelia will follow. And sometimes that will uh, be just outside of range. But if you're going to do something, do it wrong. That's what I always say. Uh, Jochum, and will there be any other space? That should do it. Alright. I think on Thief I have my happy bird. Yep. It's a bird, alright. I alt tabbed! What did I miss? Nothing really. Me talking to some NPCs. Uh, Lanos uh, temporarily unbanned. Uh, wait, no. Not temporary. He unbanned a uh, mini. Mini said something about Dent's gear. And Dent was like, ban him. Yeah, I just for a little bit, man. You didn't miss much. We uh, traded some very difficult to pronounce key items to some NPCs that were so important they didn't get real names. That's when you know the game is starting to go a little bit downhill, because. You know, you're in Port Sandy, you're by the auction house. There's some NPCs that you talk to, trade them stuff, or give them stuff, and they'll deliver it to other players. They have names. Unfortunately, we're at the point now that the game is like, this person's called a task delegator. This person's called a transport operator. Chocobo girl, you know, stuff like that. Got in a fight with some random guy on WoW thanks to free-for-all PvP. Then we became best friends after. All in the last five minutes. Ah, it's the holiday season. Even PvPers get together. Have some fun. Okay, I'm doing a white skin. Looking for... I was hoping for some, like, knotted root or something. We'll go this way instead. There might be some other root over here. There might be somebody else doing the exact same thing at Rune right now. It's probably Lenos. It's Lenos in the zone. It's probably here. So like you won't be able to complete this if there's no nope. No Lenos. Map. Wide skin. Still don't see it. Probably just going the wrong way. I think you have to go north, right? Or sound about right. So I know where all the lair reeves are. I think it was one that was like right here. This kind of looks like the spot that you would expect to see one. A hey, uh. Oh, what do they call it? It's. There's lair reeves and then there's. Knock down the barricade thingy. It's like roots! There's roots in the way. Kill the roots. It's like a beaver dam. But yeah. So what are your guys' plans for Christmas? I'm going to be driving down to Austin on Sunday. Say hi to my mom. And then I'm going to drive back up on Monday and feed my cat. My cat's going to be very angry with me. She doesn't like it when I... How shall we say? Leave her alone all night. 
I'm going to get you, Mr. Spider, because, let's face it, all spiders need to die. At least the ones that are this big. Just the way it goes. Nothing personal, but... No, it's a little personal. Colonization re... No, that can't be it. It's the one with the roots. It's like beaver dam re... That makes sense. You don't necessarily need to kill these guys. But, uh, that's a colonization read. That makes no sense! What do beavers have to do with colonizations? Answer that. You were right. Colonel Reeve! I like that. Colonel Reeve. Somebody needs to log into uh, Final Fantasy XIV and create a character named Colonel Reeve. That would be awesome. Alright. This is either going to go really well or really not so great. And that was really meh. Could have been better. Could have been worse. But I guess this is what happens when, you know, you're the only DPS in the entire party. You got, like, a lot of support. Look at them all back there. Casting music. Haste bubbles. Kurumuru getting ready to spank it with his paddle. Maybe that's not what he's trying to do. Probably doesn't. I want a Kurumuru number two. It just... Needs to happen. Somebody that, you know. Do it like Super Convert. Where he ends up with, like, you know, negative hit points. And if you cast a Cure spell on him, bring him up to zero, then make him die. But what would happen? No. I mean, how much MP would that give you? Limitless? Or maybe just a Kurumuru that actually uses MP efficiently? Actually, the more I think about it, he's fine just the way he is. He waits for the mob to ready an AoE move, then uses Convert, and warps home. Nothing wrong with that. Need to get after Bismarck. And the Zalark ones. Hmm. So if this was Super Jeopardy, what would have been the answer to that statement? Probably I'll take a. That's what I'm looking for. Not Wildskeeper Reeves. That other thing. You have accomplished a coalition ascendant. Or uh, mount up and run around back this way. Void Watch! <laughs> so that one I could remember because I've done it before. I think I've even done the Bismarck fight before. I remember being... I remember reading up on it thinking, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I think it's going to be. Thinking 119 Pally with some okay pieces. Um, couldn't get his butt handed to him. And I'm like, no, not really. Alright. Jigoro. King of Hearts. Tartaru. 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 I want the Chacharoon. That'd be cool. What did you originally roll back in the day? Monk. Because that's like the best starter piece of gear you can get. It's the white belt. Plus one strength to the waist. You can wear that all the way to level 18. I don't know of any other onion pieces or starter pieces of gear that you can carry for that long. I mean, technically, I guess you could have done any of them, but... Yeah. See, Thief got what? The onion dagger. Did Red Mage also get an onion dagger, or they just get a scroll of uh, Dia? Probably just a scroll of Dia. White Mage probably got a scroll of Cure. And I've been like, yep, have fun with that. 
Void Watch was awesome because it was one of the few times every job was necessary, except Pup. My favorite now is still Monk, believe it or not. Unfortunately, it's not Square Enix's favorite. So we got Monk in the deep freeze. We haven't given up on it. We're just going to do everything else there is to do in the game first, and then... We'll take it out the deep freeze, and then maybe by then, Square Enix will have fixed it. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. By the time that they fixed Pup for Void Watch, I was told where they gave a uh, Pup the ability to do Azurin Fist, which I think was one of the weapon skills needed. It was too late because the content had already, well, the game had already moved or progressed from that, ish, maybe. Again, this is what I was told. And every time I see this thing, I just want to run up it and jump off the top. I don't know why. I think they put them there just like that. With that in mind. Taz Delegator! Welcome back. It was my understanding that you have completed one of our tasks. How do they know? Do they have spies everywhere? I mean, I just got back. The roots are probably still shriveling. You like went from dagger to damn to that was my 76th pop. Pop tarts? Do they still make those? Probably do. <clears throat> Sorry, kitty. You're putting my legs to sleep. The NSA is in Vanadil too. They probably are, since it's all on the phone lines. Zero for 76 on a D-ring. Terrible luck. Yeah, that's getting on the bad side. I mean, I really don't think you can start complaining until you actually hit the 200s. And then that's when people are going to be like, You sure you don't already have it? Might want to do an item search. Cheers, by the way. Next. After our single Pioneers Coalition thingy that we can do... We're going to go down to the Mummers Coalition. I don't think I've ever done any of these before. All right, so this is going to be in Western Outerlin, G11. Thing with the hat? going to be the one with the hat. So let's just go straight. If I don't see I have a Merry Christmas. You too, Logan J. Or do you just like to be called Logan? Because I'm okay calling you Logan. You may not be. <laughs> is this a dead end? This is looking like it might be a dead end. No, it's an optical illusion. See, gray on gray. There's a little passage here that takes you back to the center of town. This is probably not a shortcut. Why? Why you gotta be that way? No. See, now I wanna go play Dragon Age again, the first one. And then instead of, uh, what you call it? Letting a prince, what's his name? The pouty one. Ugh. Aster, Asher, something. You know, the pouty one. Instead of letting him be king, be all like, screw you, man. You know, low gain. And then we'll somehow talk, uh. Oh my goodness. We'll somehow talk him into sleeping with, uh, Morrigan. So you can get that cutscene. Or you can just YouTube it. I think everybody else did. Or I suppose you could also just save your game to right before then. Alright. I don't know if I've ever done a Murmurs Coalition before. This would simply be the, uh... I have no idea. I do like that style. I mean, as far as that hair goes, that coat really goes well with it. At least just the collar. And I'm very difficult to uh, please when it comes to collars. I I'm not so sure about the scarf, but at least it matches the sunglasses. The next skull cut and ache. I think I'll make him look just like that. <laughs> Alright, dude. What do you got? It is good to see you! I am here to provide intrepid pioneers with assignments from the Mummers Coalition. Here at the Mummers Coalition, we entrust various tasks related to the provisions of new entertainment... 
forms to those willing to aid our cause. So it's going to be like gambling, right? It's probably going to be like gambling. Undertake a coalition assignment. Let's try recovering lost articles. We are currently able to offer you the following coalition assignments. Kizik Battlegrounds. I think I saw one earlier, too. You must head to Kizik Battlegrounds and find an item that a pioneer lost there. The assignment will be considered complete if you find a lost article. However, the pioneer may have dropped it in the Yash hunting grounds. Instead, select how many imprimatars you would like to expend for this assignment. One. Of course. You used one imprimatar and currently have a stock of ten. Return here once you have completed your assignment. We appreciate your assistance and hope for your safe return. You are so nice to read out loud. Well, thank you. And happy Friday, Mac10. 688. That's for those of y'all that are like playing other games or doing other stuff and you're just sort of watching the, how shall we say, super duper graphics of Final Fantasy XI. Some people just like to listen to my voice to help them fall asleep at night. I'm one of those people. Happy whiskey night. That's every night. Actually, tonight's rum night. Whiskey will be tomorrow night. Um, Alright, so this one can either take a moment, or it's going to take two moments. Actually, it might take a while. You know, now that I think about it, I haven't talked to reward dogs today. Uh, this is just going to be uh, opportunistic right here. Um, Harold Juju. CMP. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I probably mistyped his name. There's like two L's in there, isn't it? Right? Probably. <laughs> oh, ho, a feeling lucky enough to take a stab at the mystery box. Um, yeah, open the box. You want to open that sucker up? Okay, but which dial you be wanting? Wanted dial, number zero, tally. He's going to do this song now. I'm going to try not to sing it, but... So you be wanting something, 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 something. This box is full of mysteries that span the realm history. So what you're going to get from the chest? Oh, uh, Fortunary. Looks at what popped out. I hope it makes your adventurers that much more adventurer bonus. I don't like that it scrolls up before you have a chance to read it, but oh well. Ooh, we got a fees robe. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a body piece, just because it said robe. Level 99. Red, blah, blah, black mage, red mage, blue mage, scholar, geo. Magic attack bonus plus 8, enfeebling magic skill plus 7, elemental magic skill plus 7, adds refresh effect. This would have probably been something nice to have back before the Outland expansion, but I don't know. You could probably store it. Probably should store it. Hit the item button. No. Item. Item. Yeah, item button. Down to the very bottom. Largantua's Coffer, a coffer provided by the Amon as a reward for vanquishing Largantua. Chances are it's going to be a Largantua something. Yeah, see? Largantua shards. I don't know if I've actually fought that guy yet. If I remember correctly, that's like the crystal shard one in... Posidine Glacier. Because the snapping always helps. Except when it doesn't. I thought I had another Pluton thingy. I'm mistaken. Alright. So we gotta go find a... Thingy. What's it called? Put the thing. Put the stuff. A little shiny thing. An article. Of something lost. Lost article. That's it. We're gonna go to... Um, Kizik Battlegrounds. Let's just go ahead and hit the Frontier Station. And I'm think I remember where I saw one earlier. It may no longer be there. Somebody else might have picked it up. Somebody else probably did pick it up. Alright. So this time for sure. 
just a poor room. Boom, boom, boom. Steven McBrin, it's Friday. We don't have to work till Tuesday. Life is good. Happy Friday, by the way. Other than that, we're just slowly checking off coalition assignments. Trying to uh, have completed every single one of them at least once. Right now we're on the, uh, what's the one? Find the Lost Article for the Mummers Coalition. Apparently there's something entertaining about it. Don't know what that something could be. Whoops. Okay. Go back, go back, go back. I didn't think I had gotten close enough to actually become... Really? But I, I showed back... Ugh. This game can be so mean sometimes. Of course now it probably won't even let me back on my mount. See? I wonder if I was to zone and then it would let me back onto the mount. Probably would. wonder if the sheep would attack me. Sheep link, but I don't think they necessarily aggro. Not even the mad sheep. You would think of all sheep that would aggro, the mad sheep would. I was always surprised that Square Enix just didn't continue on. He had, uh, he had your regular sheep. Then he had a uh, slightly perturbed sheep. Then you had your mildly upset with you sheep. Then it got up to this sheep is pissed. Angry sheep. Very angry sheep. Don't mess with this sheep. That would make an excellent notorious monster name now that I think about it. Syndicate was defeated by Don't Even Mess with This Sheep. Is that too many letters for a character naming FF11? I know you can use quite a few. That's probably too many. But, if it isn't, we just might go out there and uh, make ourselves a new Tartar called Don't Even Mess With This Sheep. I should be running back to where I saw that little sparkly earlier. It was to the north. I'm going south by southwest. So let's go back this way. Map button. This will work too. Just a big circle. And if we run into another word. Um, yeah, there we go. Beaver Dam. And this time we'll start summoning the uh, heavy hitters. People like... Oh, it's not gonna even let me do it because cooldowns. Oh, that's so mean. Why you gotta be that way, game? It's like I wasn't even close enough to that layer reef. And then I try to get close enough and you're like, no, not gonna happen. So I guess we'll take the long way around. I understand why Square Enix does this. The timeouts and the cooldowns. Otherwise, you could use it to, how shall we say, break the game. You run in there, say you run into range, and you're getting overwhelmed. Then the simple thing to do would be to run out of range, lose your, how shall we say, attack status or something like that where the mobs can't attack you anymore, recover, and then run back in for fun and proper. That could be abusable. I'll agree with that. But, now that we're at this point in the game, we're pretty much any scrub. And I use that term affectionately because I used to be one myself. Not even all that long ago. But any scrub can pretty much solo one of these coalition assignments with trust NPCs. You can make it more difficult on yourself and do it without the trust NPCs, but I don't think you get extra points that way. Probably don't. Alright, so if memory serves, it was around here that I last saw 
a lost article. Or maybe not. No. Yeah, around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like right here, right next to this thingy. It's probably not there anymore. It is still there. It's on the other side! Oh, that's lame. And that won't let me play. Alright, can we get to the other side? Take the really long way around. Yes. Alright, so all you have to do is... You know, it'd probably be faster if I just... Stood there and wait for my uh, debuff status to wear off. But standing around doing nothing is lame. <laughs> and I am stubborn. I do like to do stuff the difficult way, especially when we're doing those. Although, if I didn't have the mount, chances are we just hang around. Alright, so running this way, following the right wall. Hopefully, this will not. Send us into another beaver dam. Not really a beaver dam. It's not trees that are blocking you, it's the tree's roots. And I still don't understand why the hack and slash action just causes them to magically part. I just said I don't understand how something magically happens in a fantasy game. There's gotta be rules for everything, right? Probably not. Um, next time that we do this... I think we will try to pick up all the, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Coalition thingies that you can pick up in for a particular zone, because, like right now, if we found a lost article, we can pick it up. If we had the, uh, coalition for it already. You see a thingy on the ground there? That's not the thing we're looking for. But yeah, you could like pick it up and have some fun with it. Still following the right wall. Watch the uh, lost article not be there when I get back. The harvesting point, see that could come in handy. Although I think you need special tools for some of these harvesting points. That would make sense. You ever get that sinking feeling? I do sometimes. I just had it. It was premature. I hadn't gotten to that point yet, but... I was like... That dude that just ran past us in the warrior AF... Pity he got my uh, shiny thing on the ground. It's just possible. It's the way the game's meant to be played. There we go. Stuff is still up. Lost article still on the ground. Cinequil has joined the colonization reeve. Cinequil has found the lost article. As it likely belongs to a pioneer, you surmise that you should deliver it to the manager in charge of your assignment. It would be faster for us to use a warp ring. Except we're going to use double the release. No, we're going to do... Magic. There we go. Trust. So, let's just go with all black mages. Like the flying type. Shantoto. Archangel Taru Taru. He's gonna, like, sleep everything, isn't he? Probably. Uh, let's go ahead and do Autolide. I don't hate her as much as I used to. Time heals all wounds. I mean, I haven't forgiven her. It was like, how shall we say, there was uh, two people on a barge, and it was about to explode, and you could only rescue one of them. And one of them was Adelaide. I don't care who the other trust NPC would have been. Adelaide would have been going down with the barge, just because. I only got 450 limit points for that. Kind of lame. All right. Just knock this thing down real fast. I was hoping the black mages could do it faster, but this doesn't always happen. Next. I like how the bunny rabbits aren't attacking. They're just 
hanging around, being all floppy, going, Hey, that cat person's tearing up our home. We should do something. <laughs> totally not. Thought that one was going to come after us. Changed her mind at the last minute, didn't she? Maybe I sh I miss haste and marches and... Here we go. I don't think that was my fault. I think that was somebody else. Probably. I'm gonna switch target. We're just gonna go straight over here to another group. Chances are, if they put enough dots on the other one, it should die on its own. Is it any wonder that... I wonder what percentage of players that still play the game have all their coalition rankings maxed out at Legendary. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was under 10%. I also wouldn't be surprised if it was over 90%. That's just one of those... Just because I would rather do anything else doesn't necessarily mean that's the case for everybody. Mount up. Come on. There we go. I don't know. Side of dead bunnies. Stuff that you didn't kill. Still gets me sometimes. Just like... Why do they have to be so cute? I should be killing cute stuff in this game. They all look like, you know, that OU Notorious Monster from Omen. That would be awesome. I'm okay with killing creepy looking stuff like that. That should actually be like starter zone mobs for folks. Really? Another one? You. You're the weakest link. Get out of here. Go. Go. Shoo. Shoo. There we go. I have an idea. It's probably not a good idea. But it's probably not the worst idea I've had. Alright. We got a bunch of black mages. We got a samurai. And we got cynical. Closing darkness. Not that I think there's anything that she can open it with that'll get us a darkness, but... Yeah. A bad idea is better than no idea. Sometimes. I'm trying to think of a situation where I've got an idea. It's like, and then the boat sank. Actually, yes. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is probably one for the holidays. You're uh, putting the Christmas tree up. Or you probably already have. Come on. It's like the Christmas story, where they need to uh, plug everything in. You only got the two outlets, and it's probably got way too much amperage going through it. The question is, do you plug it in? Make the fuse go out, start a fire? Or are you like, I got an idea. What if you plug in one circuit, uh, surge protector into another? You know where this is going. And it's like simply... Guess what? You put the house down. You ruined Christmas. Well done. We're never gonna let you forget this. You and your ideas. Come on, Ami. You're like... The whole... Linchpin of this entire idea. You're supposed to use your weapon skill. See? She just needs some healthy prodding. Unfortunately, she just went way too late. But, you know, dead knotted root is still dead knotted root. I s still want to see a Puru go Miri. Just so that occasionally, maybe once a month, you can see the little message, you know. Arc Dynamus Lord was defeated by a Puru. That would be awesome. I would think. But, 
Any time today, I say. Oh, that's right. We're just gonna kill it. Just like that. We got a clump of Mako grass. Black is good. Anyway, remember how to get back to town? I think we go north. Yes. This is one of those times that it would have been faster to hit the warp ring. It would have been much, much faster. <laughs> Gonna be like run out of Imprimtars by now. Surprised you don't have a subscription button. Uh, yeah, main reason? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I was lucky to get to this, what we have here. When I say it's a work in progress, it is a very, very, very slow work in progress. And there's a lot of stuff about Twitch I just do not understand. It's also a more word that I'm going to break it. <laughs> if I remember correctly, subscriptions are you pay Twitch money so that you get notifications or something. But I thought you would get, I thought you would get that. I would think you would get notifications anyways just by following them. But... And again, I'm probably overthinking it. Probably. Go back over this way. One of these days, you know, I'll probably have enough free time in my hand where it's go. I think we're gonna learn up on the uh, whole Twitch thing now that we've been doing it for a couple of years. Yummy Kago Salted El Bono, Senor. Happy Friday. I just want to call you Salted for some reason. Task Delegator. I got your. No, you're not even the one I'm supposed to be talking to. No, no. Dang it. Forgot. Murmur's Coalition. It's different. Not that lady. We already talked to that lady. We need to talk to the Golka. Senor Dent, ¿cómo estás? That's like, no idea. It's Spanish, isn't it? I should know this, but I don't. We'll just smile, nod our head knowingly, like we know what you're talking about. But actually, I should probably just get Google to uh, translate it for me. Let's uh, go to Western Aldulim Ventures Coalition. No. Murmurs, Murmurs Coalition. Using like one point that you get from. Uh, Earth crystals. I wonder if you get anything fancy for like maxing out your uh, unit stuff. Mm -hmm. Like whole uh, get togethers going on right now. Hey, it's. Mm, I thought it was Miller at first, but it's Millara. <laughs> Milliera. Something like that. Test Delegator, del Delegator, Gator, that's it. Me and that Stephen McBrenner are in the same ambuscade party, watching your stream. We just realized in game. Are you doing a uh, version one or version two? Hope oh, you are. That's just a little, it's not creepy. It's not anymore, it's Friday night. Let's uh, report on a completed assignment. Recovering the lost article with one star. Cloud C7. Happy Friday. Very one. Easy. That's one more difficulty more than what I do. I tried the easy one and thought, hey, look, ads. We'll just ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. You have half of the party in your stream, buddy. <laughs> I congratulate you on your success and am pleased to hear your report. The Coalition has prepared a reward befitting your contributions. 1500 bail. Dum, dum, dum. Scrolling down. All right. Can we do behavioral research, Mr. Test Delegator? Don't worry. We're just waiting for Ambu, not actually in it. Oh. See, I forget on the other servers, you actually have to wait in line for it. See, Quetzalcoatl. No. You just click on it, and it's all like, you're in. Have fun. And you're like, eh. Hey. Well, it kind of makes us spoiled, actually. <laughs> Here at the Murmurs Coalition, we entrust various tasks related to the provisions of new entertainment forms to those willing to aid our cause, undertake coalition, 
20 page wait a bit oh my goodness you guys know the drill take out the vodka <laughs> Uh, behavioral research. We are currently able to offer the following coalition. Rolla Waterways. Alright. Head to Rolla Waterways to find and observe a monster located there. The assignment will be considered complete if you become the victim. Special attack from a slug. Alright. Select how many imprintars you would like to expend for this assignment. One. And only one. You used one imprintar. And currently have a stock of nine. All right. Maybe we should check on that last one too. It might be down in Royal Waterways as well. Uh, undertake coalition. Morale boosting. Unfortunately, we do not currently. Okay, that's fine. We're done. We're done. Azura first. World problems. I don't know. Vodka shots for twenty minutes. Would I would imagine that would solve most problems. All right. So just because I don't want to walk. Let's go to uh, Western Adeline by the big bridge. Other bridges in this game have names. As do other NPCs. It's like by the time we got to Adeline, it was like, just call it Big Bridge. That sounds neat. I'm almost expecting to like, click on an NPC and it's like, NPC name goes here. Banana seller, you know. Not saying there's anything wrong about guys that sell bananas. I don't even know what that guy sells. I sell stuff to him. But I, yeah. Watch, he probably does sell bananas. I was like, hey! Now I want a banana. Dang it! It's like part of me is like, you know, you could probably go to that one website that delivers the food, and there's probably some place that will deliver a banana split December 22nd 11 o'clock at night it's like 30 degrees outside and here's your ice cream freaking idiot <laughs> yes um all right so here's how this will unfortunately go down if I stay in the gear that I'm in right now and I try to uh, attack anything in here it's going to end poorly for all of us so I'm gonna try and plug in as much level 1 gear as I can I'm actually surprised I have as much level 1 gear on me nowadays that I do should be able to go full on this all right um yeah that one and then let's see nope dang it I don't have any level 1 boots. Oh, no, I do. I know I do. There we go. Fisherman boots. Alright, so this gets us up. Item level 109? Still? Really? It's gotta be... It's gotta be this. Alright, so we'll just unequip it. Alright, so one... 119 ranged weapon will get you... Well, 109 standing. That's, that's quite a bit more than I thought it would. Alright, so let's just get out a healer. Because, you know, the healer's totally going to pull hay. Then we have to find a slug. Map. White skin. It's not the same thing. Crabs. Lots of crabs. I believe I know where to go. But yeah. Ice cream. One dumb foods. That is delish in all weather. This is true. Remember last, not this year, the previous year, last uh, Thanksgiving, we were going to spend it by ourselves. And instead of uh, getting all mopey about not being with the family and eating turkey and mashed potatoes and all the other fun stuff, we went to uh, the fried chicken place and we got a family pack of fried chicken. It was like enough, like 36 pieces. Big giant thing of mashed potatoes, big giant thing fried okra. Then we swung by the grocery store, picked up two pumpkin pies and a half gallon of ice cream. And we didn't have to share it with anybody. I think I gained 12 pounds that weekend, but... <laughs> 
All right, so I'm still looking for slugs in all the wrong places. Chinese is just as good. Chinese food is all right. I, I will not disagree with you there. But there is this Chinese restaurant over by my work. And after having frequented there three times a week plus for like eight years, start to wonder stuff. Been gaining mega pounds this winter break for sure. Since I'm by myself, I might just DP that too. <laughs> I'm sad that there aren't any great Chinese places near me for this Christmas. The place that I go to, it's in the same building where I work. It's great. Um, I think it was back in 2001, maybe 2002, D Magazine voted the best um, general source chicken all of Dallas. And it's not a lie. That was awesome. I would bring that stuff home to folks that don't like Chinese food. I'd be like, I don't really care too much for Chinese. I'm like, try this. Be like, I don't really care. Oh my god. Oh, this is awesome. What is it? <laughs> and then it didn't work out too well for everybody. And they ended up having to sell the place. And then they ended up changing the menu. And it's gotten better. I really feel like I missed a turn. Yeah, I totally missed a turn. Let's go back. We're next up in Hambus Gabe. Wish us luck. Good luck, my friends. The only worse thing than waiting 20 minutes in line for Ambuscade would be wiping at the 25 minute mark after you get in there. You have me, don't need luck. <laughs> That's about it, though. Uh, it's been like two years since I've had some good chow mein. Now that I think about it, I tried to order chow mein once. And the guy was like, no, you won't like it. And I'm like, I won't? He's like, no. Get the lo mein. And I'm like, what's the difference? And so I, I want to try it. And he's like, no. You won't like. And so I'm glad that he was looking out for me. But at the same time, it's like, you know, maybe he's like making my lunch every day for like six to eight years straight. But at the same time, I'm still curious. But DD has been burning it down super fast, definitely. I know the difference between lo mein and chow mein. They flip it in Oregon and Tennessee. It means the exact opposite. Really? <laughs> that <laughs> That's just them being, you know, weird or groovy. It's like in Tokyo when they speak English, they swap their Rs with their Ls. Just so they can do that. Saved you. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maps. Alright, so hopefully there's going to be some slugs over here. And apparently, if you're looking for slugs, do not go to the big bridge exit. I want the vegetables, not the noodles. Dang it. Now I want noodles. It's where this uh, stream gets really bad, is, um, you know, it's bad enough. If you haven't played Final Fantasy XI in a long time, you just click in to see what you've missed. And then you're like, <gasps> now I gotta play the game. You know, uh, that's something to worry about. But there's also the whole, we talk about food and then other people are like, dang it, man, you're making me hungry. Will you please quit talking about food? And I'm like, if you're hungry, you go eat something. It's like, oh, that was ramen noodles. And I'm like, ramen noodles can be done well. And like, not these. Pugles. He did say there were slugs in... It was Rala Waterways, wasn't it? Alright. Fortunately, not currently, blah blah blah. Alright. We are currently able to offer you the following coalition assignment. Head to Rala Waterways to find and observe a monster located there. The assignment will be considered complete if you become the victim of a special attack from a slug. Alright. 
here. I see a bunch of frogs. Is it a frog's aggro? I guess not. See, I was a little worried that my gear was going to be too high level and I would like kill them before they could use a special attack on me. Silly me. The hard part was simply going to be just finding them. Obviously. Alright. That's a slime. That's a slime. This is going to be a dead end. Is there anything up there? No. Turn around. Run back. I'm changing this up a little bit. I'm going to take off one of the uh, level one shoes, and we're going to put the uh, we're going to put the jute boots on. Get some uh, movement speed on here. Is this a dead end? Better not be. All right, dang it. I hope y'all have enjoyed our tour of the Rolla Waterways. We're going to take a detour by stepping out into the sunlight, going to the other end of the map. I assume there's another end of the map, and uh, doing this the easier way. Eastern out of way. Not that I... Actually, I think I do know where it is. Click off the invisibility. Click off the invisibility. That's right. I forgot to flee. It's the whole reason we did this on Thief in the first place. Oh, there is one good thing about wearing this coat. Once we go uh, above ground, isn't it like 25% movement speed buff just by wearing the coat? What's the name of the coat? It gets. The Counselor's Guard. There we go. Movement speed while in out of limb plus 25%. You could get used to that. Like, yeah, slugs are in the southwest area of the Rala. Closest entrance is the one in East Outer Lynn. So maybe southeast? Bum, bum, bum. Mm, let's head to. I know what you meant. Oh, like, I just left the southwest part and all I saw were frogs. More frogs. Now I want to play Frogger. Clicking this button, we're going to do something. Travel to another home point, current region, eastern Outland, by the Mog House. We'll find it. The yes, please. Basically, you just have to look for wherever there's stairs that go down towards the water. Surprised I haven't tried fishing in this town yet. Given there's probably nothing decent to fish up, except, you know, junk. Well, who knows, maybe it could be like, uh, not Mahara, the, uh, Nashmau. There's like a level 100 fish you can fish up in there. Ambu's K group right now is really good. Don't jinx it. That's what I always do. Best DD I've had in a while. Again, like, uh, Curiosity, what's the group makeup? What should be like five uh, summoners and a uh, geo? Let's see. I'm looking for some place to walk down. There may not be an entrance. Now that I think about it, probably isn't. So let's just go straight up this way. Because I know there's an entrance over here. Ninja, Thief, Corsair, White Mage, Blue, and a Paladin. And this is Volume 1, easy. Nothing wrong with that. Turn around. We're going to run down some stairs. I never noticed, but the shield almost goes okay with this outfit. Not that it's supposed to. It was all just supposed to be level 1 stuff. Don't really notice the difference between... 20% movement speed and 25%. I understand 25 is just a little bit faster. I just want it to be a lot faster. Nin is an idiot though. Is he trying to tank? Magic burst. Not skill chain. Or is he just playing the job the same way Dent would? 
So like shadows. We don't need no shadows. No time we're casting spells. Get the shadows back up. We could be punching something. Face. Actually, that's not true. Dent always cast shadows every time that they fell down. But he was on Monk when he did it. With counter stance up. And it was a lot easier to get shadows refreshed on Monk than it ever was on Thief. Thief was always, once the White Mage got the hate from spamming cures into the ninja, then the ninja was able to get the shadows recasted. And then was able to vote the hate back off the White Mage. I don't know if the white mage ever liked it, but oh well. Let me guess another dead end. I'm starting to understand why so many people have that little mini map um, on their screen that shows them exactly where they are and where they're going. It's like a bug flying right in front of me. Mm, Alright, follow the right wall. Excuse me, Mr. Spider. This wall can be clicked. No. <laughs> Alright. Continue following the right wall. Eventually... I will say this. Once we get this slug and get it dead... Never have to do this again. I am a little curious just how much damage a player in a level 99 player and mostly level 1 gear would do to uh, a roughly level 99, 95 mob. Don't fall off my lap, Miss Kitty. That would be embarrassing for you. And I'll go, oh! She hit her head. Wish I'd gotten that on camera. No. That would be bad. Running around the skittering spider. More spiders. Why couldn't it have been... That's what I'm looking for. Get a special attack from a spider. Like Sickle Slash or something. I think if I go straight and to the left, it will turn into a dead end. Which is why I'm going to run here, because... If I don't, it's going to be where all the slugs are. And now I kind of wish I could hop down there. But, bless. You cannot. And another dead end. We love dead ends. Alright. Waiting for the buffs to wear. Hitting the flea button. Followed by the spectral jig button. Followed by the flea into a wall button. It's not really a wall. It's more like a wooden fence barricade thingy. So I get flagged for using the word <laughs> What? Really? Why do you say that? <laughs> Slugs! Alright. Stab in the face. Hit it for one point damage. <laughs> Who got flagged? Alright, I just... Did I get the... Thingy? I thought I saw him use it, but... Maybe not. Alright. Back over here. I was hating on myself. For the attempt- wait! Steven McGrin's the, uh, ninja? So, was it... Twitch? That? What was the word I'm looking for? The word that you used. Flagged. Shouldn't get you flagged. Unless... No. Weapon skill... Uh, I wonder what a level 1... That was just gonna do. There we go. Weapon skill. Rudra Storm with a level one weapon. Surprisingly did not do that much damage. Alright. Gonna say I didn't see anything grotesque. Oh. 
No! Why are you attacking? No attack! I'm trying to get the hate back. Alright. I know how to get it back. Just gotta get a little bit more TP. I was hoping it would say, hey, guess what? You got that uh, thing on. So now you can uh, get the thing completed. But honestly, I haven't seen it use any of its special abilities on me yet. But wow. I'm surprised at just how little damage we are doing. I thought we would have been doing quite a bit more than this. It's easy enough to fix. I think. Cat? Why are you stand on my neck? Go stand on go stand on someone else's neck. She's probably all angry that she hasn't been fed tonight. Let me guess. I miss the ooze. Probably. Uh Get off my lap, thank you. Thank you. Open link in a new tab. The magic of the internet. Ultimate, uh, hey, your message is being checked by the mods and has not been sent. Really? I see. But well, I need to, uh, I guess, affect some of my, uh, what do you call it? Things, yeah. If I was white mage, I wouldn't be hasting anyone either. I used to be white mage, and it was a lot of work. <laughs> My Apuru is out of MP. Oh, good. You have accomplished a coalition assignment. All right, so let's. Oh dear. Um. So we can't change gear. We're out of MP. Maybe we can use a Curing Waltz? Let me use a Curing Waltz. And a Puru just died. Wow. <laughs> uh, here. I always knew it was going to end like this. Alright, get that one on. And that one. And actually get the really important stuff on. Like, uh, yeah. Strong weapons. Followed by that one. Alright, now we'll worry about the other stuff. I knew I should have left those shoes on. Wow. Just like this, isn't it? Carrying waltz. Carrying waltz. <laughs> well, we could still die. <laughs> that was like the longest fight against an easy, an incredibly easy prey that I've had in quite some time. This is why Dent does everything solo. Come on. I never thought this coalition assignment would be this difficult. It probably isn't. Easily I've attacked them just like that. Let's get some. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like these pants or not. I mean, the stats are great. I'm not complaining about the stats. It's just, you know, chaps. Some people can pull them off. Some people can't. I just think a lot of the appeal is lost when you have like black tights on underneath. And that's my own personal preference. I realize that it could probably be recolored with some DAT modifications, but I still can't believe a Peru died after using Convert. It's like a Koru type of move. We're gonna do map. Eastern Adeline. There's the exit. Let's see if I can actually find the exit this time. Little by Spectrum Jig. Actually it'd be more fun if I just aggroed everything, right? <laughs> it would be. We're not gonna do that. 
Because we'll probably get lost and then be like, oh no. Now we're animation locked. Except we're not. Actually, no, no, no. This will still work. Just follow the left wall. In this way, and then this way. New moon bats. And the flea effect wall. Dang. I just want to see where the exit in Eastern Adeline, or the entrance to this place is in Eastern Adeline. That way, next time we ever have to do this on other characters, so we're never doing this again on Syndicate, um, we'll be able to uh, do this more correctly. Efficiently. Click the button. Click the button. A strange design is etched into the... Okay, so... It's not the button you're looking for. Maps. But it is, isn't it? It says Eastern Adeline that way. Nuts. I wonder how many strangers you would find to tag along with you if you're on a server. Probably two. Maybe three. <laughs> They're like, what's he doing? I think he's AFK. He's like, he's just standing. No, he's fishing. Why is he fishing? Nobody fishes anymore. Which is not exactly true, but... Seriously, how do we get out? Huh. Alright, let's go this way. Sounds accurate. <laughs> I would join you on your runs to Taco Bell. No, I want Taco Bell again. Dang it. It's almost 11. What are you doing? So, we're doing the coalition stuff. As slowly as humanly possible because I only had like 15 imprint bars and I thought you'd like run out of those in five minutes if you're not careful. And I just didn't think that I would make this even more difficult than it really is. So we've done whatever we have access to tonight for Pioneers, for that other guy. I forget what they're called. Pioneers. And Couriers. Exit. Slash. Sigh. All right, that's why we have warp rings. I'm just gonna warp ring on out of here. And now we're working on mummers. This should be the last one for the mummers that we have access to. The uh, behavioral research. Become the victim of a special attack in whatever this zone is. The sewer. I don't understand why they just don't call it a sewer. It's a sewer. I understand that it's laid out in a special way. It's supposed to help with geomancy and all this other. Focus, focus, but... Yeah. Inventors Coalition is next. I believe I've done just about all there is... Well, most of all there is to do. In the Inventors Coalition. But we'll do one. The most difficult one. Which is basically... Go farm a bunch of stuff. Travel to another home point. Let's go back to... West Ottergon... Oxford on White Gate, and then I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. That other zone that starts with the letter A. Western Adeline, Auction House, yes please. I don't think they should have put Oxford and Adeline next to each other on the home point thingy. They should have separated by like Tabnasia. I would imagine there's more people that have access total. And again, more people that have access to uh, Altergon than they have Tapnasia. I can't think of anyone. Anybody that plays nowadays should be able to defeat all three promies. If you're actually doing the mission. Some folks, probably not. Run! It's the 5 -0. No, it's the foot. Wow, there's actually a bunch of them out there. Since I didn't hear anybody speeding, it's probably going to be another nasty accident. I hope not. Um, Western Adeline, we're looking for Mummers Coalition, right? Yes? No? There we go, Mummers Coalition. So we got to turn it in. 
And then, uh... Words. I think we'll pick up the next one. Right around the corner. Over here. Over there. See, it's like everybody AFKs in this game. <laughs> Why, hello there! It is my understanding that you have completed one of our tasks. Do you have anything to report? It's like you almost want to like take some of the ooze that got spewed onto you by that slug and just throw it at the Galka in PC. <laughs> Friday night accidents. Yeah, probably. Other than that, it's been raining. So people do stupid stuff in the rain. Behavioral research. Research well waterways with a single star. I congratulate you on your success and am pleased to hear your report. Coalition has prepared a reward befitting your contribution. 1750 limit points. And some bail. So yeah, for that. Is there anything else that we can do in here? Morale boosting, that was the last one, and nope, can't do it yet. Which is fine. I'll just have to come back to it one of these days. Mm, let's see. Let's go this way. Inventors. Although Inventors is probably like right around the corner from us. Oh yeah, it's not that close. We'll go and click this thing. Go to Western Idol Inn, Inventors Coalition. I like how it doesn't ask, are you sure you want to go there? Yes. Positive? Yes. All right. That's how everything else is in the game. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the uh, player in the bikini in the late December. Nothing wrong with that. Just think that, you know, might be a little cold is all. Undertake a coalition assignment. We can either do gather materials or none of the above. Really? That's all of our choices? I guess so. Let's gather materials. We are currently able to offer you the following coalition assignments. All right, dough gates. Three slug eyes. Oh, just white slugs. Select the number of impromptu. Okay, just one. Yes. All right. This could either take... Five hours or five minutes? And let's see. Let's cheat. Let's like really cheat. Go to where there's like a lot of slugs. And then also click everything that has like treasure hunter on it. Um that's about it. <laughs> Cynical Thief is not that great. I say that about pretty much all my jobs, but I'm surprised that I'm able to do some of the numbers that I am with her, despite everything else. Alright, so this gives me critical hit damage and physical damage taken, since I'm probably going to be tanking quite a bit. What the hat? Should I do the spiky hat for evasion? Let's give it a try. I haven't evasion tanked in quite a while. Actually, now that I think about it, I have a macro for this, don't I? Edit the equipment set. Let's go over here. Some luck. Style luck. Get some. Oh. Well, that wasn't the one I was thinking of, but. Alright. Let's uh, go to. Even though it said Doe Gates, we're gonna go someplace else. We're gonna go to Fort de Hennetil. This is gonna be number three. Bivouac. And then other stuffs. Trust in PCs. That's it. That's it. Get the fast ones. Hopefully there's not going to be anybody else here. There probably will be. There's some slugs and some flies just a little bit to the south here. I know this particular spot pretty well because when I was leveling Clothcraft on the cheap, I was using... They're called gnats, or gnats, depending upon <laughs> what the correct one's pronunciation is. And, how shall we say, we farmed them for a very, very long time. I used to toss out all the slug eyes, too, because he's like, you're never going to need these. What a fool I was. But, oh well. 
That's everyone? That should be everyone. Alright. God. You get used to plus 20% movement speed and it all disappears. It really disappears, doesn't it? Alright, so I should have... Yeah, there we go. Treasure hunter buttons. GH. There we go. Get all the buttons. Maximize as much treasure hunter as we can. Kind of. Probably not the way to do it. Just the way I like to do it. Stab them in the face. There we go. So a little shiny gold stuff. So that's my cue that treasure hunter got fucked. Or something. And here I thought the fly was in my frontal arc. It was mistaken. Hey, look, it didn't drop anything. This is my surprise. <laughs> Alright, you can also, if you're gonna stay at this camp for a little while, which I think we are, you can go down to Regions, Outerlin, look for Fort Day Hanateel. This is gonna be number two for the scummy slugs, and then I believe also number three for the forced gnats. Every five of these that you complete will get you a little bit extra sparks. It adds up. Kind of. I thought I didn't even know what my, uh... No, I should cash in someone on my accolade, shouldn't I? Oh, that okay. Accolades are easy to cash. Unfortunately. I wonder if you can, like, steal stuff off these guys, because... TH is terrible. Probably gonna get more... Nat wings than I'm gonna get... Other stuffs. Maybe not. Alright. Um, I don't need a tank, so go away. And I don't need somebody to kill stuff. Because you got me. Go away. And yeah, you're in the same boat. Go away. And then just get out the bards. And the Cornelia. And folks. Alright, got cover in my room. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll do Omiya. And Joaquim, even though Joaquim is kind of DPS-y, shouldn't be that bad. Alright. This might work. Might not. And you used to be able to pull this off back in the good old day. You just like stand behind it, hit the attack button as soon as it activates, hit your macro, and like... Do that one, followed by that. Followed by a one shot. Didn't get us what we wanted, but it's still pretty neat when it happens. That's another cop car. They're all going north. So that's me thinking that there probably was an accident. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this guy. And then maybe we'll get some haste samba going on for this next one. Still no drops. Not that I think having the Sandung will give you any additional treasure hunter. But it might not take away. I hope it doesn't take away. I should have saved this one for last. I've seen you die so much last. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like that's Lenos's normal, how shall we say, resting state, face down on the ground. And you're like, dude, why can't you keep heat? I'm like, dude. Why don't you perfect dodge? Of course, perfect dodge will always save you. Maybe I should go to Doe Gates. Nope, there we go. One slug eye. Anybody remember how many of these we need a total? It says it right there. Need three. So that's one down, two to go. Still have enough hit points for this fight. We need to get you a defending ring, Linos. And a volcano ring. And some other stuff. I can't remember what that other stuff is at the moment. It'll come back to me.
No slow guys. Snake, snake, snake. Not exactly how it works. Don't work for magic. Wait, you're doing something magical? Have to search all living there. Watch them be a black mage. Search all living. Oh, he's on thief. Yeah, never mind. Next. We got another slug eye. Alright, so now we just need one more. It's almost to the point that I kind of want to turn the news on to find out what happened. Because, obviously I'm just going to assume, um, you know, traffic accident, right? But watch it be something like really bad, like terrorist attack. A few days before Christmas, I could see it happening. Um, where's the news button? Maximize. Click. News. Cut. And click the news again. Let's see if it says local, 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 local. Travel delays expected. Texan woman killed. Mother abducted her newborn daughter. Still the uh, accent from last night. Okay. I don't think if it was like a terrorist attack going on right now, then. <laughs> It would be, probably be a lot more cop cars. Probably. And yes, Sendung was the key. That's an ambulance. I mean, I understand it happens every night. It happens every night outside my window. Just kind of wish it wouldn't happen these next few days. Just get through the weekend, people. We'll be in that much of a rush. But, oh well. Alright. I actually just hit the treasure hunt button again. Should have done this at the start of the fight. No way. Now he's gonna die! Oh, we even got the haste samba off. Which is awesome. But, alas, no slug eye. What would you do? You're at your job, right? Say you're working retail, you're behind the counter. Customer comes up, plops three slug eyes onto the counter. Got him! What can I get for thee? <laughs> uh... I mean, I work in a place where people are like, Hey, I got these dirty needles and nobody wants to take them. Can I leave them with you? I'm like, no. They're like, well, where do I take them? And they're like, not here. It's like the cops won't take them. The doctors won't take them. The fire department won't take them. Nobody will take them. I'm like, so what do you do with them? And you put them in a sharp container. And then you call the uh, people at Sharps. One it's a company that makes the sharps containers that what you put the dirty needles into. And you say, hey, my container's full. They're like, alright, we'll email you a uh what do you call it? UPS label thing that you print it out. You put the sharps container into a box, label it biohazard. You ship it back to us and we'll take care of it. Nobody really asks what sharps does with them. I wouldn't be surprised if they just incinerate the stuff. To get really hot, but maybe not. Alright, I'm just gonna check real fast. Maybe we got a slug eye when we weren't paying attention. Could happen. Down at the bottom. Probably didn't happen. Nope, still at two. Here. Sneak attack, you're probably off. There we go. Nice. Alright, Spectral Jig, we're going to sneak behind him, and do it the way Thief was always meant to do it, from behind. Whack! Let's see if it's enough. Probably isn't. Nope. 
had no effect. Alright, that's fine. Let's see if I can get Jochum in between the scummy slug. Or yeah, there we go. Koru! You'll work. <laughs> I'm gonna trick hate onto you. We're gonna try to. Didn't work. Just didn't have enough hit points. Maybe next time. Click. Still no slow guys. Probably get another net wing. You know what would be a fun drinking game? It's like, say you're farming for something like this item. Not exactly a rare drop, only drops maybe 10% of the time. Sure, you can do a shot every time that it does drop. But wouldn't it be more fun if you're just to do a shot every time it didn't drop? Get drunk really quick. They're like, no, 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 no. I'm losing my buzz. Take off some of the treasure hunter gear. Trust me. I would think one of these auto attacks would put another one on here. TH, that is. Didn't happen. Wait, sneak. That's what he wanted. Alright. Spectral jig. Sneak in from behind. Go sneak, sneak, sneak. And go whack. I don't think it worked this time. I must not have been directly behind him. Dang it! Still hasn't dropped. Actually, I'll go ahead and kill this guy. And he's dead. It'd be funny if the uh, gnats dropped what I was looking for. Should actually hold on to all those net wings. I don't know why. I already got. I think I got cloth crafting up to seventy, right? On this character, craft skill. Yeah, there it is. Cap at seventy. I suppose I could take it a little bit higher. Dang it! All right, th button on the slug. Alright, that's the bully. There's the faint. There's the sneak. There's the trick. Here comes the haste. That's about every... as many lines as you can fit in a macro. And somehow I lost the haste. After all that... Got it back. But... It's kind of disappointing, is all. Didn't get a crystal. Oh man. That's how you know you're doing it wrong. Didn't even get a crystal to drop. No beastman seal. No crest. No eyeball. That's an idea. Ability. Job ability. I have nothing to improve my steel. At least I don't think I do. Probably don't. Steel button. I don't even know if you can steal off of them. It would just be really neat if you could. It's like, hey! I got his eyeball. Earlier when we were fighting one of the uh, mobs in Omen, I forget which boss it was. I don't think it was OU. I didn't have too much time to Google in that one, but uh, it would be painful, wouldn't it, Rookie? But there was a drawing ability where we were fighting the uh, boss and we all got pulled in and well, I guess we weren't expecting it and we all like panicked and ran in different directions and it was okay. And it was uh, typed out. Like, hey, my wallet! And got a couple LOLs. <laughs> Net wings. Happy Friday, Den Rookie. Still Friday, isn't it? Still Friday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
curiosity. How many net wings do we have in comparison to uh, slow guys? Only four. All right. I was I was expecting us to have like two stacks worth of net wings by now. Okay, now we have five. <laughs> Can you treasure hunter from this far back? What is the absolutely most broken thing or mechanic in this game? Crafting. Ever since they added the last synth command, it's just broken crafting. That and uh, the fact that they uh, now have crafting kits that you can purchase from the uh, vendor. It's like, hey, don't want to be bothered with finding all the necessary ingredients to make this thing? Got our little guy. Buy this kit. Use a crystal. Get a skill up. It's as easy as one, two, three. Does crafting not work now? No more HQ? No, 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 no. It still works. But it's at that point point that there are so few players play yep kinda I'll show you it's easier to ex show it than it is to explain it um let's see actually no yeah let's use this thing it'll take us to a home point crystal a little bit faster than it would be waiting for the uh, warp ring to wear off so that one followed by here the only thing that would be easier than getting the skill ups is simply just trading guild to the guild and say I want level 99 He's like, well, pay us 99 million gil. Here you go. All right. You have 99 skill now. Please take your test. Um, hold my crystals over here. It's <laughs> a lot of cars. All right, let's do let's do windy, and you go to Winders Waters. Home point number one. No. You do want Winter's Waters, but it's going to be homeport number four. There we go. Um, just go to the guild. They got two NPCs. One that still goes based off the old guild hours that used to be closed at night in-game. And they also had particular days off. But they redid it so that one of the NPCs is open 24 hours a day. And that's the one that sells the uh, books. It's 40... <laughs> Cordy helped me get through uh, a lot of Chains of Ramathia way back in the day, when it was still hard. One of the few players from Blue Dot Game that still plays. Alright, we're going to uh, buy... It's going to be down here towards the bottom. Cooking Kit number 5. A kit used in synthesizing bowls of pebble soup. Eat a fire crystal and... At uh, cooking skill number five, you can actually do this with like cooking skill one, and the way that they've got crafting now, you can actually use those kits all the way to like level fifteen and still get skill ups on them. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So you just go over here to your ephemeral moogle and be all like, "What do you want?" It's like, "I want to get some crystals, like a fire crystal, like just one." And you can actually even say all the crystals, and you know. It's awesome. The fact that I have as much crafting done on this one character, I think is a testament to uh, just how broken crafting is. So, cooking kit, click that. Instead of finding all the different ingredients for the soup, you just click the kit. Voila. Ron Farcat! Thank you. Happy Friday. The internet is back on, or the internet connection is more stable than you speak. Watch me blow up this synth at like plus 100 cooking skill. Yeah, I didn't. That would have been embarrassing. And I got a bowl of pebble soup out of it. So anyway. Um, they've also got these shields now that you can do with your crafting to improve it. I haven't exactly embraced it, per se, not like other players have. But apparently these make these shields give you so much extra bonus that it's only profitable now for those that have all the bonuses and just high quality everything. Can you do a batch synthesis? So many synthesis at once. You kinda, I'll show you. You make a macro, but you can just type in like last synth, L A S T S Y N T H, and it will automatically do whatever you just did. So you can make a macro. Oh, I call it last synth, where you just basically 
last synth, and you put like a little weight charmer behind it, repeat it six times. And so you can go basically hit that macro, and then go make a sandwich. Oh yeah. Those shields are like the relics of crafting so much grind, <laughs> which is probably why I'm glad I haven't jumped into it both feet yet, but <laughs> one day we start running out of stuff to do. All I wanted to do was just get a crafting skill up to 100 for the Xbox achievement, and it made sense at the time to do cooking because that's kind of the, one of the easier ones. It was either going to be that or alchemy, and I'm so glad that I went the way I did. But uh, yeah, do the shields add plus one to skill or more? I don't know. I remember the night that it came out. I didn't spend too much time looking into it. Let me see if I can find a link for it though. It would be on VG Wiki. I'm sure has a link for it. What are they called? Crafting targs or something else? I want to say. I know. It's an easier way to do that. Um, home. Oh, just type in FF11 crafting shield. FF11 crafting shield. Escuchions! That's what they're called. Um, meat backspace. Thank you! Thank you, Manny. The Escuchion. <laughs> Traveling to another home point, let's go back. To Adeline Isles, Western Adeline. It always creeps me out that the Taru Taru kids fall through the floor. Watch Robert Taber Tabiri. He's gonna fall anytime now. Are you gonna turn me into a liar, man? Why you gotta be that way? Oh, yeah, I guess so. If someone were to make a new FF11 account, could they get fighting NPCs right away because there is no likelihood of partying anymore? Yes. I'm not sh exactly sure how right away. I don't know if you have to be like level 5 or level 10. I mm. It's been a long time since I started a brand new character without any uh, anything. But yeah, um, basically if you're to come level 5, it doesn't take long to get to level 5. In fact, shoot, I mean, level 5 is Dr. Trust Quest. Yeah. So, um, when you first come back to the game, or start the game, or whatever. You go to quest, it's in your menu, and you go down to the records of eminence, and then the objective list, and like, very first one, basics under tutorial. First step forward, you click on that, and it's like, go talk to one of these people. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a tutorial, where it tells you everything you need to do. But you go outside, you kill one worm, you're like, bam, level two. You go kill another worm, bam, you're level three. It's, uh, yeah, you you're gonna be capped with just uh, three trust NPCs until you start clearing out some of the uh, rhapsodies of Van Adil storyline. Um, it's in three chapters. Completing the first chapter will let you get your fourth trust NPC, and then somewhere in the second chapter, I don't think it's at the very end. I think you get it like early on in the second chapter. You get your fifth trust NPC. Um, you'll probably need a little, well, you'll probably need to be at least level 75 to attempt to solo the uh, final boss of the first chapter, or you could probably just say, hey, can I get some help with this quest for this? And then somebody will be like, yeah, I'll do it for 3 million gil. And like, here you go. Well, that's not, absurd. that's not true. That's not, that's kind of mean, but yeah. Anybody that I notice asks for help in the fight, I'm like, yeah, that's something I can do. I'll be right there. Get the third after the fight to gain access to Eschazita, then you get the fifth after beating the 5 2 mission with the Shackle Lord. Oh, alright. So that's a lot sooner than what I thought it was. So we're going back to Outer Lynn, Western Outer Lynn, Otterdon. Yes. If that's the case, you would think both Dent and Song would have their fifth ones by now. They're, they're both capped at four. Probably. Now we gotta go back to... This was going to be the Inventors Coalition, yes? I think so. The Slug Eyes? Slug Eyes. 
I'm gonna Western Adel in. Inventor Coalition. Don't even bother asking me, are you sure? Lano says capped at four till I turn in the 5 2 mission. L O L. That was like. That was like a year ago, Lanos. I might be slightly exaggerated, but it certainly felt like a year ago. <laughs> it's time to turn it in. Fair day to you. I am here to provide intrepid pioneers with assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You just have to actually trade it to her, don't you? Trade buttons. We're looking for eyeballs in our mog sack. Never thought it would come to this. All right, three slug eyes. The remarkably elastic eye stalk of a slug. And you just have to wonder. Just how elastic could it be? Report your success to the manager who assigned you this task. That was you! Wasn't it? Yes, it was. All right, we're going to click you again. And you're like, how are things? It is my understanding that you have completed one of our tasks. Do you have anything to report? It's like, this just seems odd. Report on a completed ascent. Gather materials. With a star. We're supposed to do it in Doe Gates. It would probably have been faster if we'd done it in Doe Gates, but... I don't even know where that is. I congratulate you on your success, and am pleased to hear your report. The Coalition has prepared a reward befitting your contributions. 2750 bail. That's like the highs we got tonight. That's because... It's the Inventors Coalition, and that's like the only one that I've actually been worried about. Peacekeeper! Yay, this one should be fun. I think we're gonna have to zone for this. That's gonna be an Eastern Outland, I think. Yes, I think so. Click the button. Let's go to Eastern Outland, see if we can find Peacekeepers. There it is. The music's gonna change, I apologize for that. Alright, so it's either going to be Preserve the Peace, Patrol, and... Wow, that's it. Alright. A little shield on the door over there, so that's probably not the entrance, is it? Nope, that's the back door. Or that's the back wall. I should have known that. I've walked past this place often enough. As far as pretty places... In cities that you can go in Final Fantasy XI. This one at nighttime is probably one of the nicer ones. I mean, you got a statue, you got it lit up, you got a nice little square, the lighting is nice, there's a waterfall behind it. The only thing that I find wrong with it is this guy right here. I'm sure he's an NPC and I'm sure he's part of some quest and all this other stuff, but it's like, dude. Put on some pants, or go sit someplace else, you know? It's like... Sorry. It would just be perfect otherwise. But, alas. Just can't have perfection in the game. The imperfection's probably what, you know, makes it special. Task Delegator. Can we do something? Hello! I am here to provide intrepid pioneers with assignments from the pi... Ugh. Almost said pioneers. It's from the Peacekeepers Coalition. Here at the Peacekeepers Coalition, we entrust various tasks related to the protection of Outlin to those willing to aid our cause. You want to undertake a coalition assignment? You can do preserve the peace or patrol. Let's try preserve the peace. Currently able to offer you the following coalition assignments: Kizik Battlegrounds, uh, one course. And let's go ahead and pick up the other one while we're here. We undertake... Shoot. Preserve Yosh Hunting Grounds. One. Course. And let's see if it'll let us do the patrol. Probably won't. Undertake. Patrol. Unfortunately, we do not currently have any assignments for you to undertake. Okay. So this one's a lot like the Pioneer Coalition. Where you had to go find a uh, colonization reef, the roots, and destroy them. This one, you have to go find a lair reef, destroy it. Curious, if you become legendary with these people, do you get this outfit? Because. 
I mean, I'll be honest, I think it's hideous looking, but it's like so hideous that I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> like, Craggy Bluff. Can I buy stuff from you? I guess not. Oh, I can. Let's go back. Um, Sesty stuff, stuff. You might need like a lot of uh, fame with them. I really don't know. Maybe this lady. I think that this is where I bought my homestead staff. I think. I don't think I know what any of these look like. Anyway, we'll research it later. It's not like we have so much inventory space that we just gotta fill it up with RP gear. That's what we're already wearing. It'd be the RP gear. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Angry Sheep right outside of town. The Kizik Battlegrounds Frontier Station. There's like a little area. I'll just run up there, kill it. Should be successful. And then we'll have to find one. What was the other place? It would have been Yosh, wouldn't it? I'll double check. Mm -hmm. Yep. Must head for Yosh Hunting Grounds. Okay, that one I'm not as familiar with, but shouldn't be that difficult. Let's get some trust NPCs out. Make it all nice and quick lag. Mages. The Kapuru. She's a mage. White mage. And then. Robo Ak Bell. In disguise. Wears bandages on his face. Not necessarily because he was injured, just more because he's in disguise. It's like no one will recognize me with these band aids on. The whole time you're thinking, hey, we got some white mage Tartars over here. If you want, we could try to heal your face. That could be a very naughty insult. Um, hitting the mouth button. That's it. Next time that we do a PvP episode, I'm gonna do it on White Mage. I know it's gonna be difficult to win PvP on White Mage. I suppose I could do it on Paladin too. Or just, you know. It'd be more fitting to do it on White Mage. Beat somebody, and then. Yell at him. Ha! I just healed your face. And hit the attack button. I'm going to assume that this is the back end of the wasp nest. Let's hit the sneak attack. Not that I have enough TP for it right about now, but... Thing certainly is dying quickly. Lightfoot Lepinion is rather angry with me. But once he sees the wasp nest run out of health, just takes all the fight out of him. I, I understand the wasp dying. Their home died, of course they're gonna die. But the bunny? The bunny was innocent. It's like, thanks, Square Enix. Thanks for not making any sense. Like a very loud car. It was driving very quickly. And it was like, I guess nobody told him that all the cops are to the north. And they're like, oh, nuts. It's a trap. And this way, how much more time we got left? Half an hour. Just got this coalition. This is going to be easy. We're just. I say that. Probably just jinxed it. All we have to do is just find one single lair, destroy it, and move on and do something else. Hmm. Of course I don't have any of my trust NPCs now. Probably don't need many. Alright, map, white skin, umbrals are out. Might be one over here, there might not be. It is a dead end over here, it's the only reason why I wanted to check it out. 
It is not a layer reef. Oh well. So I think next time that I do this, I'll start collecting all of the, uh, what do you call it? Colonization stuff that you can, so that way all you have to do is just go out and cash it all in. Why just finish masking French style pork stuffing? So good. Monk it! Happy Friday. It's almost Saturday. It's okay. It's almost time to make pancakes. Better than my grandmother's recipe, even? Uh oh. Somebody's kissing up. We're gonna do. Okay. I like stuffing. Stuffing's great. It's, uh. True. Some people say it's a dressing, you're supposed to have it with, like, the bird, and other people, like myself, are like, it's fine just by itself. Just pour it all into a big bowl. You got some water, some butter, a little bit more butter. Toss it in the microwave. And five or six minutes later, got some good eating. So many carbs. But, you know, that's what the winter's about. Carbs, mostly. Eating, staying warm. Finding reasons to pass out early. Watching football. Mm, shoot, Cowboys are going to be playing on Monday, won't they? Call it playing. Now I shouldn't say that. Now that I try to be mean about the Dallas Cowboys, they'll probably win just to spite me. Cyndaquil has joined a colonization reef, even though Cyndaquil doesn't appear to be anywhere near colonization reef, but we don't want to get timed out for, you know, not taking out the roots. So let's see here. Let's just go for a balanced party this time, why don't we? With a tank. Who uses Sentinel on the roots. Now she's flashing the roots. She's gotten better and better. Reprisal on the roots. And we got a Galka. Tagging with a great katana. I'm trying to think of a There had to have been. Because I just thought of it. Somebody else must have thought of it even longer ago. Back in the good old days, you had to know what you wanted to do endgame wise. Because you wanted to pick the right race to benefit whatever it is that you wanted to do endgame wise. Like if you want to be a black mage playing endgame stuff, then Taro Taro. If you want to be a thief, endgame, Mithra, probably Ranger as well. Um, you wanted to tank. Probably Elvon would be my guess, just because of their bonus to mind. Although they don't get a whole lot of magic points, but at the same time, I guess Paladin doesn't need a whole lot of magic points. I guess I'm not ending. Gulka Paladin. Probably. If you wanted to go for a straight up vitality build, that would be awesome. But that, and they also look great, don't they? But I think most people usually agree that Galkas made better monks. The Elvons would disagree. Uh, Galkas, they had a the vitality for it. But those are some things that mind came into play when looking at monks. Galka Paladin Dancer used to be broken. <laughs> you would never run out of mana or ways to cure yourself. That'd be awesome. Yay! We got a bag of vegetable seeds. That's great. Um, I'm hoping to find something. Melted root. Marauders. No, oh, I'll just have to keep going for a little bit. Let's mount up. South. Let's let's go north. Because north is 
where all the cool stuff is, right? Probably not. Anyways, um, used to be, you had to know what you wanted to do before you even rolled your character. Let's say you wanted to be a Galka Samurai. Right? No. Oh, I'm telling the story here. You don't tell it right. No. Sorry. The character name I'm thinking of, because I used to think that Arc GK stood for Archangel Great Katana, because he used a great katana. And it was somebody on Twitch that uh, pointed out how wrong I was. It's like, it's Galka, man. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh! Well, that makes sense, too. So then I started thinking of ways that you could mix the words Galka with Great Katana. And then it just popped out. Galkana. And I'm sure that that name's already taken on all servers. Still. Slightly tempted. Roll a new Galka. Make him a samurai. And call him the Adventures of Golkana. Yeah, I know. It's a terrible idea. It, she's like, it is. I'm looking for lairs in all the wrong places. We'll eventually find one. Just gotta keep following the right wall. Or the left wall. We'll follow the right. Although the next Golka I do make... I've never done the small model before on a Golka. I'm sure others have. Usually do the small model on Tartarus, that's just, you know, almost an absolute. I'm, and actually, no, I take that back. I want to say I picked the uh, large model for uh, Songarthol's uh, mule large Tartar with green hair. <laughs> oh, one day I'll probably find a reason to level her and gear her up and fun stuff. Although song would be more fun. See, it steals all the hate. Are there, like, no lairs up here? There has to be, right? It's like this. It's gonna be a lair reef, right? To that end. A little circular enclosure. No? I see a snapdragon, but... No. Alright. I wonder if this would have worked for a uh, XP camp back in the old days. Just keep the camp here, away from the mobs, and then somebody could like pull them one at a time. Probably want a bard. So I don't know if the raptors link with one another. You know they can be mean. Our first successful experience point party in a uh, Garlage Citadel ended with a raptor story. I just remember thinking, all right, I'll just use the chocobo. We'll be able to get over out there. No problem whatsoever. We'll get so much XP that when we, uh, what do you call it? Finish with the party, I'll just be able to walk to Juno. It's just one zone away. Here's our lair reeve. And it's true. Finished with the party. I was like three levels higher than I was. It was a great party. And then, uh, run into town. He was gonna run past uh, I think it was the weapons along the spine that I was most worried about because this was a Sorabum jumping. But it was a raptor that caught me and I'm like eh, it's just easy prey. I'll be able to uh, survive long enough. Forgetting the fact that at some point in the game easy prey will tear you to pieces. Especially if you're wearing cloth. Like monks do. I'm like, it's okay, man. I got this. I'm running back to town. Everybody else used a warp ring or warp cudgel. I had never even been high enough level to equip one before that day. Fortunately, I didn't de-level. <laughs> All right, Senequil has come comp has accomplished a coalition assignment. All the way up here, about as far away as one can get. 
while still remaining in Yosh Hunting Grounds. We are going to use the Warp Ring for this one. It'll take like 15-20 minutes to get back to town otherwise. I'm still hungry. Mmm, it's the stovetop stuff. Here. That's it. I might... No, I, I don't have any. If I did, I would have eaten it long ago. Mmm. I was about to hit the mute button on the uh, microphone. This kitty cat was making a mess in the litter box. And Lennos would tell me if the microphone was sensitive enough to pick that up. It probably is. I thought... Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. We're gonna travel to another home point. We're gonna do... Outerlin House. Eastern Outerlin. This is gonna be the one to the north. Yes. Home point number one. You okay, D? Hey, she's not screaming. <laughs> that will come later. You have to be quick. I mean, if you stare at the little screen that's got my face on it, off to my left will be the little cat running back and forth. At fox I'm running the wrong way. Dang it. All right. Cyndaquil pretending to be dependency. Running fast. I think she ran into a wall. Dependency, not Cyndaquil. It sounded that way. <laughs> Sorry. Distracting. Alright, Task Delegator. I'm glad to see you again. It is my understanding that you have completed one of our tasks. Do you have anything to report? Report on a completed assignment. Preserve the peace. Kizik Battlegrounds. What? Yes. I'll feed you later, though. I congratulate you on your success, and I'm pleased to hear your report. The Coalition has prepared a reward befitting your contribution. Here's two pennies. Thank you for playing. Anybody that's ever had to try and actually get rid of a wasp nest when there's wasps guarding it, you know, that's no small task. Yeah. There were patio out here when we moved in it had this horrendously large I'm gonna call it a hornet nest um right outside on one of the railings and we told the landlord it's all like before we move in could you get rid of that we're like yeah sure no problem and came in to sign the paperwork and stuff like that and the uh, landlord was like oh my god the thing was disgustingly huge it was like it, it needed to go it needed to go bad and she said she got rid of it we moved in and you know <laughs> she got rid of some of it but there was still enough of it there so that's when you go out to uh i mean you can go out to walmart you can go to the grocery store and you can get some wasp killer but those of us in texas know that when you really need to get it done you go to home depot and you get the stuff that says you know lawyers normally say you should wear goggles and uh which called wear gloves while uh, applying this poison. It was a spray aerosol format, fortunately, so we were able to hit it from a distance. And uh, now this is definitely one to use. I don't even know what was in it, but it was one. We waited till night when they sleep. I opened the door slightly, sprayed it, slammed it shut, and as soon as you slammed it shut, you hear all this wasp flying into the sliding glass window, trying to get you. And, uh, well, they didn't live long after that, but, my gosh. It was, ugh. Stuff of nightmares. All right, report on a completed assignment. Anyway, whatever he's giving us for this task is not, I could tell you, is not befitting your contributions. <laughs> Yay, 1750. Failed. That's it for Peacekeepers. Is the Scouts Coalition the last one? Yes. We got 15 minutes left. Scouts Coalition is in Eastern Outer Lynn. A little maps that's going to be a little bit to the south, not too far. What? No, it's not. She says it is far. You should feed me first, human. 
All right, hit the flea button. Fleet is still on cooldown. It's okay. I don't even think I've ever walked into the scouts coalition before. Walked past it plenty of times. I don't even know what they do. I guess they'll tell us, right? Well. This is somebody I wasn't expecting. So, I have a few of the Metal Gear Solid games. I've never played any. I know, right? Um, but I do know, you know, of the snake, but patient snake. How? No. No. I don't even want to know how he got that title. Nickname. Call it whatever you will. I'm sure there's a story behind it. A pleasure to see you. I am here to provide intrepid pioneers with assignments from the Scouts Coalition. Here at the Scouts Coalition, we entrust various tasks related to the collection of information for the benefit of the Coalition to those willing to aid our cause. Undertake a Coalition assignment. Land surveys. We are currently able to offer you the following Coalition assignment. Survey Kazik Battlegrounds. You must survey special tracts of land overflowing with mystical powers in Kizik Battlegrounds. The assignment will be considered completed if you survey an Ergon Locus located there. I know where one of those is. Alternatively, the objective may also be completed by surveying an Ergon Locus in Yash Hunting Grounds, which is located nearby. We also give additional rewards based on the extent of the survey to those pioneers brave enough to travel far distances into particularly dangerous territory. Select how many imprim taros, just the one, of course. You used one imprim tar, you currently have a total stock of five. Return here once you have completed. Appreciate your assistance and hope for your safe return. Is there anything else? There's gotta be something else, right? Undertake. Component analysis. Unfortunately, we do not currently have an assignment for you, so it's just the answer there. So this is easy. We're gonna cheat. Use the, uh, Waypoint. Hopefully it'll get us past some of the other stuff. Um, going to Kizik Battlegrounds. I think it's going to be the last one. No. That one will work. Yeah. If I remember correctly... Do I remember? I may not. Alright, hold on. Nowhere. Let's look at Yosh. Maybe I'm thinking of that one. I think it is this one that I'm thinking of. For the Ergon Locus is. Alright, let's try this one. And if not, then we'll just turn our bird around and go to that other place that I thought it was. But the Ergon Locus, I think it was in the Geomancer stuff? Did you like to pray to it or something? Or something? Something. Hit the mount button. Let's want to go northwestish. Ish. Now I'm going eastish. Sometimes you have to go east to be able to go northwest. That's just the way of things. That would make like decent song lyrics, right? No. Well, <laughs> if you were the, under the influence of uh, some interesting substances. It'd probably be able to come out a lot quite a bit better than I can do it. Map. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going straight. An Ergon Locus is a flower, I think. Maybe. I might be thinking of something else. I'm starting to doubt myself. Probably thinking of something else. But now that I think about it, I want to say the Ergon Locuses Locusy? Whatever. Show up on white scan. Or it could be just this thing right here that I thought it was. Yeah, dismount. So either we pray to it or we just click it. I'm hoping we just click it. It seems to be the site of the Ergon Locus, oft called the Immutable Boulder. It is most likely worth surveying. Alright. There's like bugs flying around it. Commence the survey? Sure. It's gonna be a minigame. Better not be a minigame. 
Ah, we're surveying. Your survey has ended in utter failure. The time of day and distance from which you surveyed could very well be to blame. Oh, all right. So let's stand right on top of it. I didn't know there was going to be this involved with it. Here, I was just thinking you just click on it. Utter failure, time of day, and distance from which... Alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Surveying Ergon Loki, which are more difficult to access, will yield additional XP and bill based on the distance from the station and the number of reeves, which could potentially block areas. Alright, so is there like a cheat sheet for this? No? Alright, I'm just going to click Survey Kizik Battlegrounds and see where it takes me. All right, note that the reward shown above shows the base amounts of rewards possible. Surveying Ergon Loki, which are more difficult to access, will yield additional XP. Oh, I already read that. All right, travel to Kazakh Battlegrounds or Yash Hunting Grounds and locate an Ergon Locus. Colonization maps. Once you've traveled to either zone and located the Ergon Locus, you'll need to examine the Ergon Locus at the right distance. Strategy without knowing the correct distance. Since the distance is intervals of half a yom beginning at 0.5, you can use intervals of X. Point three to x.7 to find the correct distance. Begin at 0.7 and increment to the next 0.37 divided by 0.7 increment. For instance, 0 0.7, 1.3, 1.7, 2.3, etc. Known distance, gain HR, yawns. Ergon Locus, Bud of the Swarm, Kazakh Battlegrounds. These are all the different locusts. And then we have Flourishing Island. Luminous Isle, Immutable Boulder. We need to be at. Is this time of day? I mean. Game Hour and Yawns. Okay. Um, why does it have to be this difficult? Alright, that's fine. Um, how do you even know how far away you are? If it doesn't tell you how far away you are. It's 12.07. So at 12.30 we need to be 0.7 yams away. How far is a yom? <laughs> Here. White scan. It's going to be the last one. Track it. Alright. So... Well, it doesn't even show up that way, does it? All right. Click it again. I'm going to get aggro, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> I mean, maybe if it just told you if a little closer, a little further, maybe just keep clicking it. Thinking you get closer. How far are they all? I can't be the first person to have ever asked this, right? Probably gonna have to look up it up on a YouTube map, won't I? No. Alright, let's see how far away we can be. Well, you can be pretty far away. Alright. Up too far? Still not too far. Yes. You'll think distance would have something to play into it as well. Alright. There. Out of range. Out of range. We'll just keep taking one step closer. Assuming that we can do one step. Yeah. Maybe we should do it like a... Uh... There's a little toggle button that goes in between run and walk. I should click that so I don't accidentally go too far. <laughs> and yes. Square Enix has to have had something in mind other than the folks that you know use the distance thingy 
with Windower, or maybe there is a way to tell how far away you are in the game from something that we just don't know about. Click the wrong button. Let's try it again. Good thing I saved the hard one for last, right? Alright, one, two, travel to the zone. Sense of distance intervals, happy almost beginning at 0.5. You can use intervals of 0 0.3, 0 0.7 to find the correct distance. Just never actually says how to calculate the distance, right? We're gonna have to come back with window were turned on, won't we? Like, give me that dr the distance thingy. All right, here you go. Thank you for joining everybody else in 2005. I understand why it was important, especially on like Ranger, where you have to be at that sweet spot as far as distance from the mob so that you can maximize your DPS. But at the same time, I have to wonder, I mean, is that how Square Enix really wanted us to play this? I mean, it can't be, right? Well, I mean, I suppose it could be. It's just part of the difficulty. And at the same time, they were like... I can just make sure there's nothing else on here. No. They're like, nothing. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna click this link and see if it uh, pulls up anything that might show where I need to be standing. Probably doesn't. See one Ergon Locus here, and there's another one over by, looks like the water. Yep. Hmm. Of course, I don't know if that one would be any easier. I might have just picked the hardest one. No. I'd never do that. That's going to leave a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> leaving this undone but we could be here all night clicking it doing it wrong and not knowing anybody unless you can lock on to it all right but it's not going to tell you these quest <laughs> This is the toggle for the walk. Alright. So, stay locked onto it. If you have merited 99 cap 440, you should be able to learn virtually every spell. Good to know! Still out of range. Still out of range. Out of range. Yes. Notice that we lost our lock on. Okay, we can lock back onto it. Take another step. But yes. Kitty's getting hungry. She's going after the Vista Machine now. Just stand the furthest distance possible and then just take half steps towards the locus. Ah! <laughs> Makes sense. Now so I'll have to focus. Everybody, positive thoughts. Just stare really hard at the screen. Hopefully this isn't the uh, only way to get legendary status with these people. By the legend, or by these people, I mean the Scouts Coalition. <laughs> oh, 
in the future we'll save we'll do these first that might have been a full step it probably was you can do this it's just a simple click on the shiny button button quest and yes one more. this is it I can feel good about this one because it's 1201 happy Saturday everybody oh, I think for next time I'll do a little bit more research somebody has to have posted a YouTube video and if they haven't, then when I figure out how to do it, I'm going to post a YouTube video. It's going to be the shortest one ever. This is where you need to stand this time of day. Click this thingy, and you're good. I didn't mean to take a knee. I wanted to walk onto you, take another half step. Click yes. I mean, it'd be one thing if you could just, like, Stand in one spot and then just keep clicking it so that maybe it's the time of day. Eventually get you there. Maybe not. It wouldn't surprise me if it also wanted you to be at a particular angle to it. And just really wish it wouldn't say utter failure. It just makes you feel even worse about not being able to do something. Oh my gosh. Something as simple as your survey is a success. Return to the manager in charge and report on what you have learned about the Ergon Logos attributes. All right, so for those of y'all curious, she was standing right here, 1600-ish, Water's Day. I'm gonna screenshot that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, warp ring, because actually, no, we should be able to mount back. Thank you, Ron Farcat. I'm look, apparently, this is how fast the bird goes when you're in walk speed. It's good to know. We can RP walk on a bird flapping its wings. You would think it would flap its wings slower. I would think that. Wrong, but you know. <sighs> what are we gonna do tomorrow? Oh yeah! I'm gonna take my car into the shop. It's got a leak in one of the tires. Get the inspection taken care of at the same time. And I went the wrong way, but we can still go this way. We get us in that tunnel box. Ooh. Wasp mess. Of course it is. We're just gonna say, Alright wasp. We'll give you this day, next time. Next time we're going to hurt you something terrible. Hey, look! Big giant walking tree. Oh, I wish... It was... That was the only problem with the neon. No, this is going to be the uh, Chrysler. Um, I hope I don't need a new tire. Hopefully it's just something that can be patched. Because... Yeah, tires are like 200 bucks each. <laughs> Go in... The longest way here, you're gonna stream the CP party tomorrow. Oh, hell no! Now I'm gonna wear pants tomorrow. No, I'm joking. Nah, I'll probably wear pants. It's gotten kind of cold. But, uh, no, nah, for uh, capacity point stuff, even I can't uh, find nothing to talk about that long period of time except what I'm really drinking. No, I'll probably be listening to my own music, maybe watching porn, feed the cats. Shove food in my face the whole time. You know. Stuff we do on the weekends. <laughs> and also resting my voice. Even though I kind of rested my voice the past couple of days. Thanks, internet. Not being good. I'm gonna dismount. Completionist and all. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, Scouts place. Go to Eastern Adelin. Scouts Coalition. Stuff like that. 
What's up, cat? She's like trying to eat a box right now. Where's the door? Oh, here it is. I was just looking at this thing. It's like, you can't get in here from here. And then you turn around. It's like, oh. Makes more sense now. Mini, if I was to go back to Final Fantasy XIV, roll a Golka character, and call it Patient Snake, would I get banned? I kind of think I would. It's also between Core and Dancer that I bring tomorrow. Whichever one is closest to being mastered on a job. I say bring that one. Actually, I say bring Dancer, because you can, like, do Rudras, which should do quite a bit more damage. And I can, like, Magic Burst off that, which could even do even more damage. would be awesome. Alright, let us report on a completed assignment. Land survey. She's gonna be like, you really did it? This is where most people quit. I congratulate you on your success and am pleased to hear your report. Coalition has prepared a reward befitting your contribution. 3500 is more than I was expecting. I'm not looking for it. Solo of four step. Well, I'm sure my cricket will get kind of, you know, bored waiting for you to finish that. But Shantoto, if she's around, she'll interrupt it each and every step. Or maybe just every other step. Yeah, that's what D says. Merry Christmas, everybody. Be good. Stay safe. Have fun. I'm not 100% sure on when I'm going to be home on uh, Monday. I might be streaming. I might not be. It's gonna be gain XP, so I will. So I will try to be on, if nothing else, making money. But you know how that goes. Be safe. Don't be like all these people outside my window getting into accidents. Be safe. Have fun. Don't get caught. I'll catch you next time. Bye.